Hello friends, followers, channel members, happy Good Friday. Oh, so many of you have been waiting for the release of this airport, Luton Airport. It's um, highly anticipated. This is uh, a technically a pre-release stream, but by the time my stream finishes today, it should be available for you guys to uh, to get as uh, as well. So. The plan today is we are, of course, at Luton Airport, the home of EasyJet, and we are going to do a rotation flight, not something we do too often here on the channel, so it's nice to be able to do that. We are going to head out of Luton, flying a real ops flight as we head uh, down to Jersey, where we'll turn the aircraft around and then... Um, yeah, head to, head back to uh, head back to Luton. Um, I just want to try and give you guys a bit of a, a bit of a tour, but we, we'll definitely have a bit of a tour once we uh, once we get back here later. But you know, this is uh, just looks so good. It's the home of the low cost carriers, of course. Wizz Air are, uh, are here as well. Uh, it was the home of Monarch as well, uh, as Clever's just said. And look, you can still see the uh, the hangar is just there. But just quickly then. Let's have a uh, let's have a look around, and uh, and you'll see. Now, what I have found as well is frame rates are pretty nice, con uh, considering the amount of detail. I was in two minds because, as with a lot of Intel scenery, there is options to turn a lot of stuff off, uh, turn a lot of stuff on, uh, that kind of thing. Um, I have left it all on just to see how it was as we as we max it out, um, and it seems to be doing, um, yeah, it seems to be doing all right. So. Fingers crossed, it'll be fine as we uh, as we taxi round and obviously depart and then land back here later. But yeah, there's the old Monarch hangar. Uh, detailed uh, inter uh, interiors as well. Now, this is a bit interesting. So the big EasyJet hangar here, uh, when I first spawned in, uh, the doors were closed and uh, they've since opened up, so which I thought was quite nice. I'm not quite sure what affects that. Maybe it's a time of day thing. I don't know. Maybe uh, if we set the clock later, remind me when we get back here. If I set the clock later, those doors might... Um, might shut, uh, might shut down. Uh, where's the work? <laughs> says, what do I rate it out of ten? I'll be honest with you. You are seeing this for the first time, as am I. Um, I've not, um, I've not seen this yet. Innerbuilds, obviously, uh, our new partner, kind enough to uh, send this over to me early, so we can have a quick look at it before its mainstream release in a uh, in a couple of hours. I think it's meant to drop about four p.m. UK time, which is only a about two and a half hours away. Um, so if we get into the uh, into the terminals, I have seen the interior uh, terminals. Let me just get uh, get in there. Let me speed the camera up a bit. Now this is the car park. This is this this is the car park where there was the fire, wasn't it? Um, I'm guessing Interbuilds will not have modelled the fire damage. That would be going maybe a step too far. Um, but we've obviously got people etc as you can see and there we go here's the interior look at that all those easy jet flights um, yeah so this is the kind of stuff that you'd see as you are pulling up to the gate and that's the exact amount of detail I like just enough to be realistic not too much that it's just going to be used needless processing power so I uh, I do I, uh, I really like that sort of blend of averaging out the two things giving you exactly what uh, what you need um, but yeah as you can see I'm zipping around here I'm, I I often get lower FPS than um, than you guys would just because I'm streaming and everything all off the same PC so but as you can see it doesn't really appear to be uh, to be suffering uh, that much at all so we'll head over to our aircraft set up we've got loads of ATC around um, it's gonna get busy here later on I would imagine so this is um, this is going to be good. Uh, Jamie, is the Harrods hangar model? Jamie, where is that? I'm going to have a look um, if uh, if you can direct us to it. As I said, funnily enough, we never fly from EasyJet. Uh, EasyJet. We never fly from Luton here on the channel. And the reason for that is I just didn't have any really good scenery for it. There was the UK 2000 one, which was okay, but um, I'm, I, I'm not sure what... Uh, uh, I, there was things with bumps and taxiways and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. Offworld says when you look around uh, the car parks, you will find several Luton vans. <laughs> nice. Um, James says it's in the northeast corner, so that would be over there, then, would it not? Um, someone's just asked if they can see it at night. Once we get back here, I will definitely, uh, definitely look at uh, changing the. Um, 
changing the night, uh, changing the time, so we can see what the night lighting of uh, of it is uh, is like as uh, as well. But yes, here it is. That is Luton Airport in all its glory. So let's head to Jersey, and then we will head back. But I think that looks uh, there's not going to be any mistaking that from the air, is there? It's uh, yeah, it's stunning. We're flying today in the fly-by-wire aircraft as well, so we're in the Neo. I thought we'd uh, break out the Neo for this flight. Um, just because, well, I've not flown it for uh, for ages, actually. Uh, so I thought we'll do something a, uh, a bit different. So once this drops as well, guys, well, funnily enough, maybe don't wait until this drops. So someone's asking, what's the price of this going to be when it, um, when it actually releases? Well, that I don't know. But there is a sale on at the moment, isn't there? They've got a 24-hour sale where all their Inibuilds uh, Airport series are just £9.99 or less. But I would imagine that will end at the time that this gets released. So it might be worth, if you're looking to pick up some other scenery like uh, Heathrow, Leeds, I think, is a steal. I think it's six, seven pounds. Um, obviously, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Southampton Airport, JFK, um, Buffalo. All of those are available now really, really cheap. But that sale will end in the next two or three hours, I would imagine. Um, link is pinned at the top of the chat and also the video description down below. If you use that link as well to uh, browse through the Intervals website, pick yourself up some deals and uh, of course using that link also supports uh, myself in the channel uh, so that's always appreciated and of course you get some great scenery at a really really good price so let's um, <coughs> let's start setting up and we'll go through the uh, we'll go through the brief for our flight to uh, yeah our, our brief for our flight to Jersey. Now we are, as I say, well, I'm using the fly by wire A32NX. It's actually been that long uh, since I flew this, so uh, you might have to bear with me if there's a couple of things that I, I'm, I'm still searching for in terms of the actual EFB and, uh, and setup, so I apologize ahead of time now for, uh, for that. Um, so let's have a look. Where is my operational flight plan? Uh, there it is. Awesome. Uh, so, let's have a look. Uh, landing weight is going to be just under 60 tons. That's going to be fine uh, coming into Jersey. Short runway at Jersey. Um, so, we need to, what we would have to do is we need to do a landing uh, performance calculator. Um, so, we go to uh, landing, uh, fill the data from the OFP. Yes, yeah, so that's Jersey, uh, flaps full, oh wait, no, investors, no, auto land, no, runway condition dry, uh, I think it's been, it's been raining, we'll go, we'll go good to medium, runway elevation, I have got no idea, it's not that high at Jersey, is it, let's just go zero, and it's runway 26, I'm not going to be, uh, overly uh, pedantic with that. Runway slope, again, don't know. I could find out. Landing distance available at Jersey. Uh, hang on. Let me find that out as well. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on, Navigraph. Um, it is 1556. Five, it's not very long, is it? Uh, approach speed, again, no idea. Um, you don't have to put all this information in in the real world takeoff uh, landing performance calculator. It, uh, it sorts it for you. Uh, and our landing weight is tipped to be um, uh, about, let's go with 60, 60 tons. Um, so let's just uh, let's calculate that. <laughs> Says we're not going to get in. Um, I'm sure we would in real life. I'm pretty certain we would get it in real life. Uh, I'm gonna clear that. We'll be fine. It, we, we we definitely don't uh, need to worry. Um, just doing a actual landing calculation now, um, just to make sure. But what are we doing? landing aren't we uh, so this is Jersey runway 26 wind is 214 uh, T 
temperature 12. That's quite warm. Q&H 989. Runway condition is good. Anti-ice be off. Landing weight 60 tons. Uh, CFG standard config full. All the usual stuff set to standard. Okay, just let um, the calculator do a landing check for that. We've got a 12 knot crosswind when we get into Jersey. It's a short runway, 12 knot crosswind. Always good fun. Anthony, Aaron and Jordan celebrating 22, 5 and 12 months channel membership respectively. Thank you so much guys. Um, oh, this is interesting. Right, our maximum landing weight is actually 59.8. Um, which, if I just have a quick look, that is... Oh god, that's close. That's really close. Um... Okay, so what we're going to do, we, we, we can mitigate this, so we're not going to take any extra fuel, we're going to load plug fuel. Uh, what we are going to do then is, Stansted is the alternate, and if we have a look at some of the other alternates, uh, such as, um, oh god, what are those alternates? Those alternates are rubbish. That's not right. Um... Yeah, what we will do is we will just, if we need to, we'll designate uh, Southampton as the alternate. We can get in at Southampton. If we can get in at Jersey, we can get in at Southampton. And that doesn't use anywhere near as much fuel, so that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be the way I'm going to mitigate that uh, for now. Um, in real life, what would we do in these circumstances? Well, one, I'd have proper uh, alternates available. Um, two, though, if that th this was indeed the case, we'd be having to look at um, offloading some passengers and uh, luggage, which I don't want to do that to any of you guys. So um, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll stick with this, and we'll be uh, and we'll be fine. Uh, what's what about Exeter as an alternate? It's, it's even further away than Southampton. The idea is we wanted an alternate that wasn't too far away, so that the fuel uh, that we need to take for the alternate isn't that much, if uh, if that makes sense. That way, we're going to be within our max landing weight, um, which is 59.8 uh, tons. All right. Uh, so we um, let's just go through the rest of the, oper uh, the operational flight plan. I've been through most of this anyway, and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all fine. Um, so, uh, oh, case is it. Don't know what braking action we're using there, but we'd use good if it's wet, wrong, good to medium. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, I used runway condition code 5. Hey, Katie. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we did use, um, we did, you, did use good. Uh, I think the, hang on, I'm going to have to double check that now. Bear with me a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, run with condition code 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to be fair, I might have used 4 on the fly-by-wire one. Did I use 4? Oh, no, I used... Uh, no, I did use 5 on that. But anyway, it's it, it, it's fine. I'll uh, <laughs> politely ignore Katie. Uh, so, get rid of, uh, get rid of that. Um, yeah, basically, I'm not taking any extra fuel anyway. Uh, let's just go through the rest of this. So, worst case scenario, winds, 12 knot, cro 11 knot crosswind, that's fine. Um, one of the other reasons I want to fly the Neo is because I get better performance from the engines, which helps us get in as well. Uh, yeah, vicinity of showers, so that's the only reason we used a wet runway, because the showers in the vicinity, so, uh, so yeah. And Katie, safe to say, a 60 turn 320 wouldn't have any issues in Jersey. No, no, I'm sure you've done it plenty of times on days where the weather has been worse than this. I've checked the no times for Luton, Jersey. They're all fine as well. Have a look at uh, any significant weather we need to worry about. That's the flight route. Um, jet stream and looks like we're actually avoiding most of that rubbish. So a little light chop up to 30,000 feet. In fact, we're not that high today either. Uh, so could be a uh, could be worth telling the uh, guys and girls in the back that it might not be the smoothest flight they've been on, but it's only light. So flight level 270 is the plan, and a headwind of 53. That means a longer journey there than back, hopefully. All right, let's uh, let's start getting ourselves set up. First thing I want to do then is just quickly brief the um, 
the airport itself because, as I say, we don't often fly from London just because it's uh, not one that I've uh, that I've done too much. So we are stand three, so I expect taxiing northbound on Bravo Echo Delta and then a uh, full length departure from uh, from Alpha. Uh, it is like a bit of a one way system here, I believe, at uh, Luton. Don't think they'll get us out on Bravo. Uh, southbound I mean so that's fine a quick look at the departure so we can be familiar with that uh, so there is straight out and left turn after 1030 feet and the uh, Rodney one Bravo departure built a bombing VOR and Henan NDB navids available transition altitude 6000 feet and initial climb is not given to us there but it's 5000 feet all right uh any other things on this departure uh doo -doo -doo, don't climb above sage uh, when instructed by itc contact um london control um all right london control runway two five fun that's interesting but we uh Row 7 would be London Director. Fair enough. Uh, so don't contact ATC until they've told us to. Lovely. Okay. Um, we are on vaccine, as I say. I believe we've got some ATIS. 125.8. Two one knots. Varying between 150 and 240 degrees. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Few at 2,200 feet. Scattered 3,900 feet. Temperature plus 1, 2. Dew point plus 8. QNH 986 hectopascal. Acknowledge receipt of information delta. And advise aircraft type on first contact. Cool, let me just grab the winds from the start of that. Love the reflection on Luton here. information delta. Time 1320 Zulu. Automatic. Arrival runway departure runway 25. Two Transition five. level flight level 80. Surface. Wind 2010. Gusting 21 knots. Varying between 150 and 240 degrees. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Okay, fair enough. So, sounds like a bit of a gusty departure for us as well tonight. So, uh, that's uh, all good fun. Uh, so the aircraft is in its turnaround state. What I want to do now is just start the loading process, which I think GSX, um, I've got that synced on. So if we um, if just go to the fuel, because that is not synced, I am going to download and we're going to load plug fuel, which just confirm is 4.2 tonnes. Uh, yes, it is. We'll set that to real time. That can go. And now I can never remember with the fly by wire, do I have to use the GSX menu? Um, oh, apparently, yes, I do. <laughs> That's fine. Um, payload is planned. GSX payload sync. That's enabled. Okay, so presumably then request boarding and that should start it all up uh, I don't know if Innerbuilds have included a GSX profile with uh, with this I guess we'll find out um, in a minute looking at this mess down here I'm guessing maybe uh, maybe not anyway let's uh, set up our aircraft so uh, yeah currently in the uh, turnaround state we're on Excel power pumps are off seatbelt signs are off packs are off APU obviously not on um, spoilers, flaps, parking brake here. Door is currently open. Actual pressure's in the green. So, uh, want to board uh, nobody, just the uh, passengers, please. So, refueling is going to be underway. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Panel's open, and that number's going in the right direction. Uh, one to one, five. And uh, do we just turn that up. Turn this down here as well. Turn that one up. That should be squawking 2000. There we go. Uh, Russ says they have included it. Um, oh, fair enough. That's fine. So there is a GSX profile included. To be fair, I might have got an old GSX profile for this airport from a from a, a previous edition. I probably needed to clear that out, but never mind. 
Uh, so that's fine. Initial climb was 5,000. Set that. Get the constraints on. Q and age is 986. That's fine. God, that's really small. Surely that's meant to be a tiny bit bigger. Can't read that. Um, so that's uh, that's all done. Let's uh, set up the box then. So IRS, yeah, three up greens. Aircraft status, leap engines, air cycle is good. Let's do any request then. So it's pulling everything in. We've got the flight number. I think this is a special flight, this one today. Um, I say it's a real world flight, real world call signs, all of that stuff, etc. Um, but it's n only using uh, only using numbers, no, not an alphanumeric call sign today, which is a bit rare for you to suggest. And I can only see this flight actually departing today. I think it departs in real life uh, in about an hour's time, actually. Uh, costing us 420. Um, the Tropo is 31892. Download the winds. And just qu quick iris check, make sure they all agree. They do. That's fine. First officer can check that against the charts with the coordinates of parking stand is three. And departing two five. What's the name of the departure? Rudnil one bravo. And then at the other end, we are on ILS 26. It's the Lelna 1 Juliet in Bible. Uh, Vired, I believe. I'll put Jersey 1 in. I will check that because I have a feeling we don't actually need that. But let me have a quick look. Discontinuity. Clear that. Any other passengers boarding? That's good. Yeah, so there you can see we've got uh, we've got a jersey in there. What we might do, particularly if there's no ATC, we can just vector ourselves in, not fly the full procedure. But I will leave the full procedure in for uh, for the time being. We'll tidy that up on route for uh, a better estimate of our track miles. So that's fine. Radnav page, then uh, we've got, um, is that Bovington? I can never remember if it's Bovington or Brooklyn Park. I think that is Bovington, um, 11 miles out. A couple of other NDBs. Uh, we want L-U-T and Hen. And now our zero fuel weight, uh, etc. So, uh, plan zero fuel weight CFG is 32.9 and zero fuel weight is uh, 57.5. This is obviously planned, of course. 329. Uh, we've got a headwind of 53. And quick calculation, it wants two and a half tons, which is, you know, we're fine. We're, we're taking 4.2, so. And alternate fuel is 1.4. That's to come all the way back to Stansted, which, yeah, I've just mucked up with the... Uh, Alternate airports, we wouldn't come back to Stansted. That gives a takeoff weight then of uh, 61.5. So that's below our max landing weight. No need to worry about that if we need to return in a hurry. Um, and then our planned takeoff CFG is. 33 and a half, so that's standard. Okay, let's do the performance calculations. We're in the NEO, of course, today, so we can uh, can utilize SimSmart for uh, for all these calculations. Oh, runway 25, grab the meta. Uh, runway condition is... Is it dry? Wasn't there wasn't any rain in the uh, 
There wasn't any rain in the 80s, was there? So, okay, we'll stick with dry. Uh, anti ice will be off. Takeoff weight is 61.5. CFG is standard. Takeoff thrust flex. Climb thrust config 1. Packs off and calculate. Uh, there we go. So 29, 29, 32. Uh, no structural takeoff weight. Oh, regulated takeoff weight, sorry. Um, and engine out procedure is standard. So there we go. Uh, how did I find the headwind? Is um, is that so? The headwind is shown just here. If you have a quick look at the top right there, the trip wind on my operational flight plan H um, 53, and obviously for a tailwind it would say T. So I hope that, uh, hope that helps. Uh, where's the work? Engine acceleration is 30. Yes, so there. Yeah. <laughs> They've now dropped down there. It's now 800 feet AGL. Um, whereas this is uh, when all of this uh, data was put in, they were still using 1,000 feet. So all we need to do is just knock a couple hundred feet off this and then we're, uh, we're in line with the uh, current company policy. Right, let's get all this uh, information into the box. If anyone wants to check out SimSmart, there's a link to that in the video description as well. Uh, so we've got one, two, nine, one, two, nine, and one, three, two. Transition altitude is 6,000. Thrust reduction acceleration is, as we've just said, one, three, zero, eight. Flaps one. And flex six eight. Good. Okay. We then look at the secondary flight plan and uh, pop in the engine out procedure. Now, engine out uh, secondary flight plan in this aircraft not yet currently working. So um, let's just have a look at that. Um, engine out is two thousand one hundred feet. So it's standard straight out left turn. Uh, Bravo Papa Kilo. The hold. So what I will do then is just to give us a bit of a visual reference. Pop in Bravo, pop a kilo on there. So we have now got it on the navigation display. If uh, if we need, there it is. Look, that's where we take up the hold. Okay, so we'll contact ATC and then we'll uh, do a departure brief. <coughs> to one seven five five. Luton ground, good afternoon, easy nine six three nine a stand three, A three twenty Neo, information delta and uh, requesting alpha clearance file to Jersey. Uh, easy 9639, welcome, uh, correction, Luton ground, hello, uh, anybody to flight level for way fly today, uh, can you accept flight level 180? Yeah, 180 is uh, fine for easy 9639. Easy 9639, Roger, your clearance is to Jersey, the Rodney 1 Bravo departure, caution the dead climb, uh, Swalk 4716. Cleared by the Rodney 1 Bravo departure and squawk is 4716, freezy 9639. Uh, easy, 9639, rebook is correct. Okay, let's get the squawk in. Four seven ah four seven one six. Okay, that's done, and uh, we're actually going to burn more fuel now as we're going to be flying. Easy, easy, that works quite nicely Hello, for us. And easy three today, Fox Trot, Fox Trot, hello. And that's fine. Okay, so let us um, let's have a look at our departure and, uh, and stuff so uh, where are we yeah so we've already briefed the taxi we'll not do single engine taxi um, 
we would probably have time to do a single engine taxi. It's busy enough today, but I'm a bit unfamiliar with the airport, so I don't want to be leaving Chetlis late, etc. So, yeah, well, no single engine taxi uh, this today. Um, uh, ooh, right. Instead of using full length, can we take Alpha 1? Uh, let me just have a quick look then. Take a front available from Alpha, 1771 meters. Okay, I might just need to uh, edit that. Uh, oh, hang on then. Let me just restart SimSmart and we'll do it with an intersection departure. Otherwise, I have to faff around backtracking. I don't want to do that. Dry off sixty one and a half turn standard flex config one packs off. Um, what's that? Uh, it is one seven seven one. Okay. Okay, so that's just changed a few figures then. 63262833. So just revise those figures. Save us a bit of time. is now 63 okay so um, yeah so we know we're going with the taxi boxes as planned 25 departure rod and one bravo radnav's tuned bobbing a couple of uh, ndbs that we've got there the loop and then the hen um, flat level is now going to be 180 so we'll just amend that as well 126, 128, 133, flex 63, flaps 1 for departure. Take away 61.5 tons, and second flight plan is not working. Departure itself, no speed restrictions, initial climb 5,000 feet, MSA 22, and wait to be told by ATC when to contact departure. Okay, that's all straightforward stuff. Uh, threats and error management. Then, biggest threat for me is just a bit of unfamiliarity with the uh, with the airport. We don't uh, we don't fly here too uh, too often, but I'm looking forward to it because the scenery looks uh, looks awesome. It's also quite busy as well in the airspace today as well, so just be uh, be aware of that. Uh, other than that, there's no terrain around, so that's all straightforward. Um, in the event of a engine failure after V1, then it's uh, I will pull the heading bug. We'll carry on straight out. Once we are uh, then above 400 feet, confirm that failure. Trim out the autopilot. Get um, uh, sorry. Trim out the rudder. Get the autopilot on. Uh, flying straight out. Once we have uh, shut down the uh, the engine and we are above 2,100 feet, we'll push the level off and make a left turn to the Brookham's Park VOR, where we'll enter the hole 3,000 feet. Then get back to London Luton Airport much quicker than expected. All right, all done. Let's get the uh, let's get the APU. On. So whilst I'm waiting for that, just confirm refueling is completed. That's balanced. And it looks like everyone's on board. Excellent. Oh, we have uh, a little bit of cabin crew interaction as well today. Hello. Hi, Captain. Just to let you know that everyone's on board. That's great. Thank you. No problem. Yep. Hi, Captain. Okay, here's the load sheet from ground. I've written the passenger count here, the crew count here, and the total number of souls, not including yourselves, here. Okay, love that's great. Thanks, and uh, we're looking to push back in about uh, five minutes. Okay, looks like we're all set to go whenever you're ready. 
No problem. Well, that APU gets running uh, nice and quick, doesn't it? Okay, let's uh, disconnect the external power. Door's still open. Close the flight deck door. And uh, let's do the cockpit preparation checklist. So aircraft acceptance, that's been completed. Fuel quantity is 4.2 tonnes balance. Seatbelt signs are on, it is three and up green. And the QNH is 986 hectopascals. Cross-checked and 500 feet. Fuel truck is in position. Ah, right. I baggage loading is in progress. Is it? I'm going to have to just restart GSX because otherwise they're going to wait for absolutely ages and I don't want to do that. Hero in Hong Kong, amazing gifting, 50 subs to the community over on Twitch. Guys, that is absolutely awesome. Thank you so, so much. Welcome to our new followers uh, as well. As we should just get ready to, um, to push back here from Luton. I'm just going to wait for GSX to respawn in. Uh, but mate, that is awesome. Thank you so, so much, hero. You are indeed a hero today. Right, is GSX going to work? There we go. There they are. Captain, we are ready for pushback. I don't want the GPU to be around as we uh, as we push back. Departure check Go completed. I don't want Bypass you. pin inserted. Right, let's get back onto ground frequency. I'm assuming they're just going to get rid of the uh, GPU. Is it actually there? Oh no, it's not. That's fine. Walking gear. That might just be a bug in the system. Luton ground easy, 9639, stand 3 is ready for push and start. Easy 9639, stand 3, push and start approved, face the uh, north. Push and start approved, facing north, easy 9639. Right, so let's push back, tail to the Same right. Same ground easy 6, eight, Charlie, Papa, seven, seven, five, ready Release really parking brakes. Easy 6, 8, Charlie, Papa, hold position, caution, aircraft behind. Uh, before start check list, just before we go, uh, so the parking brakes are on, takeoff data has been confirmed, windows are closed, EFB is on flight mode, doors are closed and armed, beacon light is on. Parking brakes released. Ground, very good afternoon, ED. Visual well, steering disconnected. Information Delta on board, aircraft starting Airbus 320. Engine 1. Pick up clearance to Reykjavik. And at 8786 Juliet to Quebec. Use ground to the standby. We'll go 86 Juliet Quebec. Diaz, can I show you how to set up the box for Easy, the traffic pattern? Easy, 54 Echo Victor, we're also ready for push and start from... So, if you uh, go on the EasyJet SimPilot YouTube channel, there is a full detailed Stand tutorial by. on setting that up and uh, on them flying the pattern, do a bit of base training. And Joe Wilson says he's literally just found out this morning he's going to be based at Luton for his first few months when he's released out into the world. Awesome. This will be a familiar sight in a few months then. Uh, people 1102, stand by. I'm trying to coordinate your departure. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we now ask for your attention while we take you through the safety breaks. procedures on this aircraft. Breaks, sir. The safety the guard is on the oxygen masks, life jackets, and brace position that you must adopt if you hear brace, brace. There are two emergency exits at the rear. So just watching engine one parameters until that's available. And two there we go. Front of the cabin. Floor lighting will guide you to an exit. And starting engine two. Be aware that your nearest exit may be behind you. In an emergency, leave all cabin on board. We can accept the your seatbelt is fastened. Adjust it. And the Just send me over your, your old route as well. It uh, must be fastened when the seatbelt signs are on. And we recommend that you keep it fastened okay. at all uh, times. Sending over the old route for ED eight six. If the air supply fails, masks will drop from above you. Pull a mask towards you to start the oxygen. I love the hell of those engines. Nose and mouth. Hold in place for the strap. Pull on each side. Right is clear. Right is clear. Put on your own mask before helping others. If we land on water, Ryan Air three five one three, ready for push and stop. Put it over your head. Okay, so we're expecting Bravo Echo Delta. Click to order. Number and pull nine, the push to three fifty. Do not inflate the side of the engine. When outside, inflate by. Uh, Hero says, just want to drop by and say thank you if for all the great videos on YouTube with the Phoenix. It's been very up. helpful for me to Blow get to know the air, so much appreciated. Hero, you are there more than welcome. And once again, thank you so so much for the gift you gave to the community. We also carry flotation aids for children. Engine two is available. They're waving frantically at me. Window blinds uh, open and, and seat one 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 We wish you a pleasant flight with easy jets. Speedbird one one zero to the ground. Speedbird one one zero to Roger. You cleared to London Gatwick Airport. It's the debt link for Yankee departure from eight two five. And uh, caution the steps line. Squawk five four five six. I just want to check our CFGs thirty three and a half. Departure is there. No, it isn't. It's thirty one point nine. Clocking five, four, five, six. Correct. Uh, any more stations called a new ground? Uh, can we pushing stock? Okay, after our checklist, Anthony Ice is off. Ecam status is checked. Pitch trim, 21.9, rudder neutral. A little flight control check then. Full left, full right. Neutral, full up, full down, neutral. Uh, Rudder, full right, full left, neutral. Uh, Miguel, yeah, I fancy the Neo today. Oh, because. Speedbird, well, one one zero 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 four, push and start. Uh, last station called Losing Ground, repeat. Speedbird, one one zero 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 four, push and start. Speed one one zero two stand uh, two pushing stop for you face the uh, north. So that's aircraft behind us, so they're not going to be on our way. We'll just wait for him to read back, then request our taxi. And ground easy nine six three nine is ready for taxi. Where's ATC gone? Okay, hello. Hi, Captain. Everyone seated and secured. But, uh, easy. Awesome. Uh, we'll call when ready. Stand by, last station call in there. Easy 9639 is ready for taxi. Easy 9639, roger. Uh, you can taxi holding point. Uh, Alpha 1, runway 25, uh, Bravo Echo Delta, and Alpha. Hold the point Alpha 1, runway 25, Bravo Echo Delta Alpha, for easy 9639. Uh, right, just confirm, Bravo Echo Delta Alpha, Alpha 1. And, uh, who is that, sir? Uh, Alpha 1, Bravo Echo Delta, Alpha 1. Alpha 1, 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 Hello, people 1102, uh, what are you doing? Sorry about that, people 1102. Hello, people 1102, I did tell you to push back uh, facing the north, but that's fine. 
you know, nearly conflicted with an aircraft on the ground. Um, so continue pushback facing the south. Sorry about uh, about that. Good uh, roll, Jersey. Right. Get to enjoy the nice views of the new Luton Airport as we uh, as we taxi. Bit of a traffic jam here, though. Uh, so let's just recap the departure. No change to our performance. Flex departure. Um, engine app procedure is standard, straight out. Level off accelerator, 2,100, and then turn to the Brookham's Park VOR. Hold 3,000 feet. Departure is straight out, then with a left turn, left 1,020 feet, and uh, no speed restrictions, clean up as we go, and no as we go, too. Stop climb, 5,000. Uh, affirmative. Oh, okay, I see the problem. Uh, should I refile, or can you adjust my flight plan for you? Come to for Bravo departure. Uh, yes, stand by. So just waiting for the. Uh, well, it's showing a louder air. I think I've got a problem with my model matching. I think this should be a Ryanair in front, but Ryanair use the same call signs as louder air, don't they? So I think that's why. Ever may happy Easter to you. All of the chocolate that may come your way. Eighty four. Who is it, sir? Easy five for Echo Victor. Eighty five for Echo Victor. Apologies. Hold position. Caution. Aircraft in front. Break, break, Ryan, F3513, yeah, wait there. That'll be this guy, with my bad model matching. We're ready for taxi now, Ryan, F3513. Apologies, uh, apologies, Ryan, F3513, taxi, hold one Alpha 1, runway 25, five private air kit, Alpha Alpha. Hey, Elk Chocolate. Speaking of chocolate, <laughs> Pete Mosley, good Alpha afternoon to you. So yes, we will be giving away a copy of this airport as well. Uh, 85 for Echo Victor. Taxi, Later today. Hold Alpha 1, runway 25, five private air kit, Alpha Alpha. Can you repeat that real quick, thanks. Uh, yep, taxi point Alpha 1, runway 25, via Bravo Echo Delta Alpha. Bravo Echo Victor Alpha, easy 5 for Echo Victor, sorry, I'm tired. 5 for Echo Victor, negative Alpha 1, runway 25, Bravo Echo Delta Alpha. Bravo Echo Victor Alpha. Delta. I'm guessing I don't know, I can't be on. <laughs> Negative. Oh, uh, okay. He's gone. And easy nine six three nine. Continue taxi. Oh, there he goes. One, Bravo. Echo Delta Alpha. I will continue taxi now. Easy nine six three nine and uh, Bravo Delta Alpha. Hold Alpha. Correct. Uh, orange nine per kilo. Luton ground. Standby. Break. Break. Uh, stupid one one zero two. Contact Luton uh, approach. Contact Luton approach. Is my wing going to miss that? Uh, Luton Director 12955, yeah, goodbye. Oh, yeah. This is the details you... S you really miss with default airports, isn't it? All the taxiway signs, things like this, max wingspan, etc. Little ramp getting up there. Our oh, Ryanairs are always holding us up virtual. <laughs> the bands of our life. Only joking, mate. Right, so follow the taxi line. We'll wait till we're on the straight of Delta, then we'll do the taxi checklist. Ground vehicle clutter as well, that's exactly and that orange, what you want. Nine Papa Kilo, Luton Ground. Uh, go ahead, the rest of the area, Papa Kilo. Uh, nine Papa Kilo, yeah. Uh, do you have. Um do you have a Rodney departure in your aircraft? Reasons to fly, what A320 would you recommend most for Maxwell Flight Simulator? Uh, let me uh, yeah. Well, obviously, the fly by wire is free, so that goes without saying. But if you really want detail, then the Phoenix A320 is the one to get. 
And at the Compton for Brothers and Old Departure for Luton, uh, are you able to Rodney? Uh, wait, stand by. So no, there's sorry, a flame of the phoenix Eric right now, indeed. Awesome. Okay, yeah, no, I so let's do our uh, our taxi checklist now. Then, so flight controls they've been checked. Flap setting is config one. FMA we've got climbing up blue one FD two five thousand blue radar and predicted wind shear is on. Eka memo is take off. Lazy cabin crew. Why are my taxi lights off? I know why they're off. We turned them off while we were sat waiting. I didn't put them back on again. Easy 86 Juliet Quebec, ready for clearance. Camera crew seats for takeoff. There you go, Ecom will take off now. Blue EFB is stowed. Little bit of a. And, uh, in climb. Ground. Uh, go ahead, Orange. Uh, yeah, 95 kilo after departure, runway 25, runway heading. Five thousand feet, squawk three two five three, uh, three two five two. Roger, after departure, runway heading and uh, climb five thousand, then squawk three two five two. Thanks for the uh, uh, solution, orange time torpedo. We got track. Yeah, good one. And everyone, uh, three five one three. You can contact Luton Director one three nine five five zero. One two nine five zero, run three five one three. Correction, one two nine five five zero. One two nine five five zero, run three five one three. Have a good rest of your day. Break, break, easy nine nine six three nine. Contact London, Luton Director, one two nine five five zero. One two nine five five, easy nine six three nine. Thanks for the service, good day. Yep. Luton ground, good. See, that's why I need the mini radio panel that uh, has recently been announced, so I don't end up off the taxiway. Hey, uh, Roderick, I'm not getting any performance issues at all with this one. It's looking really nice. Remember, of course, I'm streaming as well, so that hogs resources. And there's lots of traffic around as well today, for obvious reasons. Luton Director, easy, 96305. Quebec 1102, London 127.105. Uh, contact to uh, London Control 127105. Director, easy 9639, Alpha 1. 9639, hello, thanks, hold Alpha 1. Hold Alpha 1, easy 9639. See, this is why we uh, redid the takeoff performance calculation because I don't want to have to backtrack. We can now get straight off. Reason to fly, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub, appreciate that. Ryanair 351325, clip takeoff, service info 9214, gusting 25. Clip takeoff, Ryanair 3513. I know if you use rolling cache, you definitely need to delete that, reset it, because once you've updated the scenery uh, for an airport, it can really cause stutters. Altitude 5 Romeo descent, altitude 5000 feet, about 25 miles from runway 25. 
Descend 5000 feet, easy 95 Romeo. Uh, Bravo Blizzard, there is no difference between uh, the manager, the store, the website, etc. They're all the same. I prefer using um, either the store, uh, uh, something where I can uh, delete a scenery with the, with ease. Then again, I suppose you can just delete it out of the community folder, can't you? Medic, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, I need to revisit my uh, model matching because that should be a, a Ryanair. Although it does mean that in my world, I have eradicated Ryanair. Three nine three nine flight Alpha one enter backtrack runway two five report ready for departure. Easy 9639, enter runway 25 and just confirm we can uh, depart from Alpha 1. 9639, roger, via Alpha 1, line up 25. Via Alpha 1, line up runway 25, easy 9639. Okay, approach path's clear. Let's get our lights on. Aviate, good afternoon. It is windy today. So strong winds with gusts from the left as we depart. Engine one critical. Hey Jordan, yes I know, that's why the model matching shows all my Ryanair aircraft as loud airs, which is wrong. But at least we don't have to see a Ryanair livery in my sim. Descend 3000 feet and can I get the heading again, easy 95 Romeo? Yeah, 145. 3,000 feet, I'm Cam heading 145, easy 95 Romeo. Cam Skewer, take off the wrong way, Alpha 125, TKS to area, Alpha 125. Easy 3513, climb now, flight level, oh. it's going to be, uh, uh, sorry, flight level 8 terrain. Climb flight level 8 terrain, right, 95 Romeo, reduce speed 180 knots. Speed 180, easy 95 Romeo. And 95 Romeo, continue left hand turn, heading 33 degrees. Left hand turn, was that 330 degrees? Correct. So we're just sat waiting for spacing then at the moment from uh, the Ryanair in front. It's usually about four minutes if it's the same destination and same uh, sit as well. Clear takeoff from 25, easy 9639. Let's go! Easy 35, Romeo, turn so, take off, start degrees. the chrono. We'll establish two the glide for runway 25. 50 and 1. I'm using full side stick deflection down because of the uh, gusty crosswinds. Stable. Man flex, SRS runway. Go, Charlie, okay, so like, hello, blue. Gosh, uh, the mic, I'm to ask you to Charlie Cambridge. Uh, negative, uh, just lose him. 
Five Continue to descend, uh, 2500, easy 9 Bravo. Easy 9639, report your passing altitude for naval. Passing 1000, easy 9639. Positive 8, get up. Easy 9639, climb now, flight level 8, 0. Climb flight level 8, 0, easy 9639. Autopilot 1 engaged. Three nine Thrust climb, open climb, and 8 0 blue. That's really nice to see, isn't it? All these aircraft. A proper busy sky. Alright, both packs are back on. Did someone just say a proper engine? <laughs> positive rate, positive climb. Sorry, axe crew. <laughs> you know what I mean. I know I'm not American. Right, S speeds, fine, so spoilers and flaps. Uh, okay. Anti ice on. Speed, I'll start. Clear to land, runway 25 and no speed restrictions, easy 95 Romeo. That's interesting. 9739, contact on control, frequency 134125, very good afternoon, Sator. 13412, easy 9639. Sator, easy 95. Super Cockle 4. Shuttle 19 Sierra, turn right, 180 degrees. Shouldn't have this showing down here. Lufthansa 265, descent to 5000 feet, T for QNH 988, Hector Pascal. Speed at 2134 London, climb now, flight level 190. Flight level 150, speed bird 2134. Speed bird 1102, turn right 230 degrees. Try and force our way in with a radio com. Ending to 230, speed bird 1102. Lander Control easy 9639, flight level 80, Lander, correction, Easy 9639, hello, climb now, flight level 150. Climb flight level 150, easy 9639. Shuttle 190, Sierra, turn right 250 degrees, no speed restriction, clear dial S27 right. 250, uh, there we go. Right Just climb over, climb 150, right, uh, Speedbook Concorde 4, contact uh, Heathrow Tower 118, decimal 505, bye bye. Going to 118, decimal 505, thank you very much, bye bye. Bye bye. Coming crew released. Speed of 239, hello, climb now, follow 130. 130, Super 239. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your seatbelt fastened while... Easy, uh, 9639, direct Southampton. Direct Southampton, easy, Whenever you are seated. Toilet Lepanta, 265, turn left, 180 degrees. Remember that smoking is not permitted. Left one under the roll of Tanzania 65. This includes e-cigarettes. Oh, being points doesn't work, does it? Okay. To 4,000 buttons. Please to 8,000. Left hand to the third Charlie, hello, climb now, follow 130. Left to the third level, 130, Tanzania 75. Drive south out to 10,000 feet. Together with drinks and snacks. ETA 560, hello to you, climb now, follow 180. Euros, most major Drive level 180, clear out the red nav. Shuttle 190, Sierra, descent 3000, further to the right. Any further assistance, then just ask us as we join you in the cabin. Second flight plan is in up. Shuttle 190, Sierra. Seatbelt signs off. Not got much time to sightsee on today's flight, to be honest. It's quite a busy, uh, busy little sector, this. Ladies and gentlemen, 
and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign, so you are now free to move around the cabin. However, for your safety... Contact 9 Delta Alpha, further climb your discretion on Unicom, bye-bye. Over to Unicom, Contact 9 Delta Alpha, bye-bye. Uh, Levant at 7 Mike Charlie, fly heading 090 degrees. Heading 090, uh, from 7 Charlie. Speed better, 8. Five, uh, bomb tech, what do we do with cost? Uh, is index of zero, zero, zero during the climb. Eight, eight, um, eight, company stops, eight, basically, eight, but eight, eight, yeah, it will save a little bit of money, I guess. Get you to cruise a little bit quicker. Four, We're cruising very high today. 5180 is our cruise. Just monitoring this aircraft. The control speeper two for six. Twenty miles out. Departure passing three bus three hundred. And it's going to be our flight level. Speed two four six. Hello, turn left one four zero degrees. Climb now. Flight level one. Light speed. Celebrating two months of level ship as well. Thanks so much, light speed for for supporting us. Really glad you like the content. Brian F Brian F three five one three. Further climb your discretion on Unicom. Bye. We do have one told Further climb on Unicom. One two two. This mate. Brian F three five one three. EDA 054 London, hello, landing 26 left, no delay, descend, fly level 80. Fly level 80, EDA 054. Easy 9639, further climb on Unicorn 1228, bye bye. 1228, easy 9639, good day. Bye bye, Lufthansa 265, turn right 250 degrees. Just climb up, climb 180. Just get Approach above this guy here. Right. Right heading 250, descent 3,000 feet. Uh, flying Dylan, just to uh, confirm, right, cost index zero does not mean green dot. No, no. Shallow 19 Sierra, come for Heathrow Tower, 118505, bye-bye. 118505, shuttle 19 Sierra. Speed bet 2134, monitor Unicorn 1228, bye-bye. Speed bet 2134, monitor Unicorn, bye-bye. So I'm just keeping an eye on this guy. Nothing heard, uh, flyer 9770, descent flight at 130 level, good loop. We're not very heavy today, so climbing Thank nice you and quick. You can route direct to at Pev, expect the RS27. Okay, route Godly, at Pev, and expect the 2759. Easy, A054, veteran 26 left, fly heading 065. Heading 065, easy, A054. London Center, good afternoon, uh, cargo lock 772, flight level 340 inbound for Apex. Cargo lock 772, any cover? There we go. Um, hey, Sai. So, just going back to the cost index zero thing, it does mean you climb faster because you travel at a slower uh, speed. Obviously, reduce speed, the best way of reducing speed is to pitch the nose up. So, you do get to your cruise faster, and that's it. We're, the ATC clearance gave us um, flight level 180 for our flight today, which is incredibly low. It's um, so now a speed alt cruise. Set that to uh, set that to below. Cost index four. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes we will be starting one of our in-flight movies. If you <sighs> I really wish I knew how to turn that off. In-flight movies on EasyJet. The only in-flight movies you get on EasyJet is uh, whatever you've got on your phone. Six on the uh, okay, so yeah, a few ads up, that's fine. So we will spend more time today on the ground at Luton than we will in the air, which is fine given the stream that we're doing today. So it shouldn't be too long before the airport is actually available for you guys to enjoy as well. So what we're going to do then is I'm going to send off some weather requests. So we've got Luton, we've got Jersey, we've got... We don't need that, we don't need Stansted. But I will have a quick look at um, Southampton. Maybe Gatwick. And we will send those off. And whilst I'm just waiting for those then... We will have a quick look at the arrival that we're going to be doing. Uh, so we're coming in, Lemla 1 Juliet. Uh, so we want to be uh, Flight L200 at Lelna. And then 
basically comes in at Jersey and then what we're going to do is from Jersey we're just going to pick up the ILS and uh, straight in unless any ATC is around to tell us something uh, something different. We've done Jersey quite a few times so it's a normal three degree uh, approach. Platform altitude is 2,000 feet. We'll check the weather in a minute make sure that we're fine to get in. Minimum runway patrol range for us is 500, uh, uh, yeah, 5,500 meters. Sure that's going to be fine. Um, once we have landed, chances are it'll be all the way, so backtrack left on either Delta or Bravo, and then park on uh, the Juliet side of the airport. We've done Jersey quite a lot, so realistically we're not going to need a, a megaly over, over complicated brief for, uh, for this. Uh, Organ, we've just departed Luton. Uh, but then we will be returning. So I'll just print that off. So, flight plan is... Uh, is fine. UTC, what? Oh man, what's going on with that? That's better. <laughs> how, how strange. Um, yeah, much, much better. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. Radnav, yeah, Jersey, that's the one. Hello. Hi, Captain. I just wanted to come by and ask if everything was going okay. All good, thanks. If you need anything more, just give me a call. She's a great cabin crew. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to serve our drink menu. Choose from our menu with hot tea and coffee. Okay, so Jersey ILS 26 sure is the plan. The down position and clear any items from the aisle. Thank you. Right, so what is the weather then at Jersey? 260 at 10. That's straight down the line. Perfect. Temperature in Jersey is nine degrees. QNH nine nine zero hectopascals. The minimums then off the charts for runway two six four seven two and a config four landing. And we will be using Mac Traverse as well, but we'll brief all that in a, uh, in a moment. Other thing I will do as well, as we are going to vector ourselves in, uh, so there's no ATC around, which I'm just double checking. Jersey Ground is online, um, but that's it. So, we've got our flight plan. Echo Golf, Juliet, Juliet, 2-6. And then, what is the radial for um, the runway? Uh, 083. And that now means that we should have a look at the plan page. There we go. And also, with that, if I pop in a nine mile radius around that. We should literally now have a cross that we're gonna aim ourselves for as we vector ourselves in. Yeah, there we are. So we're gonna vector ourselves in 3,000 feet as those lines intersect and that will be perfect. Cool. So we've uh, we've basically briefed how it is we're going to, uh, how we're gonna fly the arrival, what arrival we're going to do, we're going to, uh, we're going to get down as we, uh, as we're at the top of the descent, obviously, and then we will vector ourselves sort of in, out to the east, and then back round, establish ourselves on the, uh, on the ILS. 
We've done Jersey plenty of times. Three degree glide, path two thousand feet. So all is uh, all's fine, good there. We'll legal start the approach. Minimum is four seventy two. Um, if we need to go around straight ahead three thousand feet, then left turn heading one eight zero. Max speed is two ten. So, threat, and then we know where we're parking afterwards because we spoke about it anyway. But threat and error management, and then. Um, biggest threat here in Jersey. Uh, the winds are nice, uh, literally right down the runway for us, so that's fine. Um, actually, that's really, really helpful. Uh, and then the biggest threat is the short runway, so no long landing. If it looks like anything's going to go wrong with the landing, um, then we are absolutely, um, we're absolutely going to go around. So, whilst we're in the cruise, I'll remind you just once again, this is a pre-release stream for London Luton Airport, where we have just departed. That should be released within the next couple of hours, I, I, I believe. So, you'll be able to pick that up. The link to grab that is at the top of the chat and also down in the video description as uh, as well. But they do currently have a sale on Innibuilds where you can get yourselves uh, all of their airports. They are just £9.99 or less. So click that link and, uh, and check out any series that you want to get whilst, uh, whilst it's on offer. There's also the Aviation Merch Store as well, which you can check out as well. Video link in the description. If you are enjoying the stream, then please do, uh, please do hit the like button as well. Um, Ada, when will I fly the Inbuilds A320? I will fly it, but not until it's out of beta. So, uh, so yeah. It's not Southampton down there, haven't we? Vance, guys, what will be the price? I have no idea what the price will be, I'm afraid. So, it's, uh, your guess is as good as mine. This weather looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Plant line with 2.6 tons. That's fine. And then we're going to turn her around. We'll get back to um, yeah. We'll get back to get back to Luton, and maybe by the time we've landed, they um, they'll have released it. Uh, Bombtech is the new Luton a lot better than the UK 2001. Uh, I can say without a doubt, Bombtech, yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, it is. I had the Luton 2001, which is why I never really flew there um, very often. It just it wasn't the best. But now we've got any builds. We, we might have to just base ourselves at Luton for a while, flying in and out of Luton for a week. And I won't make any apologies for doing that because the uh, the scenery there looks stunning. Plus, it's new, and we don't do Luton that often, so it's all you know relatively new to us. I'll tell you something I don't know: how long is Luton's runway? Yeah, two one six two with a bit of a displaced threshold. Um, on two six, so just over two kilometres. I, th I thought it w it's not one of the biggest runways around, and the taxiways as well aren't right at the thresholds. So it does mean that some operations can end up being slowed down because of that. Uh, virtual ATC, uh, uh, virtual 737, you've never seen Luton with that much traffic. It's because it's release day. Aaron, Flood, hey Aaron, it's been a while mate, hope you're doing well. Right, what was the Q&H in, uh, Jersey? 990. Shut up. Hey, Glenock, good afternoon. We're heading to Jersey again. Um, Baseman from Hill says tomorrow we're doing some easy jet ops. Um, the new UK 2000 Aberdeen scenery uh, to Innibuilds Luton. Yeah, that's the second Aberdeen scenery that's released in the last couple of months, isn't it? 
I've not checked that out though. Uh, Brendan, I saw that uh, the Purgy um, series are on a sale as well. Um, I don't know if you can get those through the Inibils, uh, through Inibils links. You might be able to. You, you probably just have to click the link and check it. Uh, but if not, no, not uh, not currently. But thank you for asking. Aaron, when is this airport available to purchase? We're literally waiting now. It should be at some point this afternoon. So the first people to know about it will most likely be you guys. Uh, so if you find out as and when, then uh, let us know. Then you can all uh, all go and grab it as uh, as it's released. The great thing about uh, this particular kind of airport, like Luton, is you've got the options, haven't you? You've got so many options. You've got... Um, all the British Airways flights, you've got uh, British Airways. You've got all these jet flights. You've got all the Wizz Air uh, flights. There's Ryanair flights as well. So it doesn't matter what aircraft you fly, what airline you fly. There's options. And if you're the kind of uh, sim pilot like me who prefers the sort of short um, little hops, when well, it's not so much prefers. It's just uh, <laughs> the ones I have time for. Um, you can do some realistic, realistic routes, uh, realistic um, routes from there, can't you? Uh, Baseman says he's looking in the Inibuilds Discord as we speak. <laughs> Excellent. That's the way to do it. I'm hoping, Aaron, by the time we land back, once we've turned our aircraft around and we get back to Luton, then um, it might be available, which will be uh, awesome. Hey, Jayhog. Yeah, we're off to Jersey. Your favourite. Who knows? I might absolutely total the aircraft on landing. Um, and then we'll have to pick up the Phoenix A320 to turn it <laughs> to, to, to get back because I've destroyed the fly by wire. Hopefully that won't happen. Flying Dylan, have you seen the XB1 demo play? I've not, no. No. Uh, Tony, apparently Edinburgh is due an update. Yeah, Pirogy, I think, teased that. Uh, they're currently working on an update for that. I mean, what they're going to do to make it even better, I don't know. Because I think Edinburgh is one of those really, really classy sceneries, just like Belfast. Um, I'd say that East Midlands is next level, but... East Midlands is a little bit bigger, isn't it? Um, I mean, here's a question for you guys. We're going to start descending about 20, uh, 20 miles or so. But here's a great question for you guys to answer just whilst we're uh, cruising along for the next few minutes. Loving the views there of the channel. Um, what would you say, and it could be any airport in the world, what would you say is the best add-on airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And what I mean by best is the most realistic looking. Not best approach or best location, but I mean the actual best airport with the most amount of realism. It's just crazy how how unbelievably realistic it is. I've, let me know in the chat, guys. Let me, let me know what you think. Um, and then I'll tell you what mine is. Um... Jayhawk says East Midlands, Bomb Tech says Flying Tampa's Las Vegas, Flying Dan also saying East Midlands, that's two early votes for East Midlands. Uh, Reyes, is Luton released? Not yet, not yet, this pre-release stream should be uh, should be not far away. Gatwick, of course. Um, Edda says uh, Brussels, another East Midlands. Bristol, another Brussels. Belfast, can confirm, flight event many times a year. Even the menu in Starbucks, I know, I've seen the menu in Starbucks. Are the, are the prices current though? <laughs> Inibil Southampton, yeah, that's another good one. Boston, Fly Tampa. Hey, Christian. Believes says Southampton. Belfast is indeed a very nice replica of the real thing. Sydney from Fly Tampa. I've not seen that. Uh, Reasons Fly says Las Vegas, Fly Tampa. That's the second vote for Las Vegas. Uh, Carby says East Midlands is his home time, but you try and f uh, but you fly mostly to and from Heathrow, so he's torn. Try not to let loyalty to your local airport get in the way. But no, I'm just generally, generally curious what you guys think is the most lifelike, that's the word I was looking for, the most, most lifelike scenery in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, Glanock says, not sure if it's his favourite, but Liverpool is nice and realistic with the yellow submarine outside the entrance. Uh, and the old flying school that he went to, what, the KA, the KA thing, excellent. 
Uh, Christian, what's this best senior so far? Yeah, what oh, personal preference, of course. But what is your the the most lifelike, realistic airport scenery that you think is available for Microsoft flights in? Uh, it's a sin. Have I tried the new interbuilds? I've uh, A320 Neo. I've not because it's on beta, and I, I don't want to. I don't want to test it until it's out of beta. But once it drops, absolutely, we will. We will test it. Oh, Christian. <laughs> life like as in there is so much going on or realistic like real life? A bit of both, Christian, I guess. A bit of both. All right, let's start heading down there. That's our top of descent. And speed. Descent, 100 blue. It's the same as East Midlands, um, but you can't really use it because you're an Airbus pilot in the same. <laughs> I know the feeling. Jayhawk says Christian likes Innsbruck because of the two aircraft. <laughs> See, Daz, this is it. Pretty uh, Edinburgh takes some beating, but they're going to be updating it. Uh, what on earth are they going to be updating it to? Christian says he can't vote for something that's not out yet. Are you still... What is it? Is it Frankfurt you're still waiting for? Jordan says he has a soft spot for Newcastle. No terminal modelling, though. But it doesn't bother him. Okay, well, we're on descent now, so I'm going to have to start concentrating in a moment. Um, but my personal one, the one that I look at and I think, my God, it's just photorealistic, crazy, and there's loads going off. Uh, it, it's Brussels. I still think Aerosoft's mega airport Brussels is the one that takes some beating with probably um, East Midlands a very close second. Has everyone seen as well the East Midlands uh, one where the, um, the, the the van gets up to the gate, the gate then opens up and then uh, you know the van obviously goes through and I just thought what a nice touch. Ladies and gentlemen, hello again from the flight deck. We've just began our descent into Jersey, and we should be on the ground in about 20, 25 minutes. If you can allow the cabin crew to help tidy the aircraft up, give them your uh, full attention and support, and we'll uh, have you on the ground very soon. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy this flight plan up. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned the seatbelt signs on, which means you must now take your seats in the cabin. Please remain seated until the signs are turned off. Thank you. So remember, don't disappear once we've landed because we are turning the aircraft around. We're going to get back to Luton, hopefully for Luton's release. And we're also going to be giving a copy away of the new Luton Airport as well. Uh, Bomb Tech, I, I can't speak for all airlines, but I think they just wing it. I know from... Uh, from speaking to quite a few, they said that one of the most nervous, th the most nervous thing that they uh, they do when they're actually in the flight deck is pick up that microphone and speak to the cabin, because they know you know, 150 people are listening to them. Uh, Aaron, have I got any videos on self-loading cargo? I had the old version, but it's now all changed, hasn't it?
Okay, so Q and H nine nine zero hectopascals three thousand blue, and we're also now in open descent approach checklist. So barrier ref Q and H nine nine zero. Seatbelt signs are on. Minimums four seven two. Uh, auto brake medium, and EFB stop. Uh, Jordan, that first ever radio check. Yes, indeed. So I've probably got about 35 track miles to run, something like that. Hey Zera, good to see you. The weather looks quite nice in Jersey, doesn't it, tonight? I say tonight, it's only 3pm local time, just gone. To be honest, uh, uh, honest, I don't use self-loading cargo that much anymore. Now we've got cabin announcements in the Phoenix aircraft. Okay, so we're going to pop it into heading mode. And we're just going to come left a little bit as we briefed. Just to then come round and intercept the, uh, the runway track and the ILS. Hello? Hi, Captain. I was just wondering if you'd like a drink, maybe a tea or coffee, or a bottle of water. Uh, no thanks, I've got a cup of tea here, I just haven't had time to drink it. No problem. Give me a call if you change your mind. Right. So, LS on. Approach phase activated. India Delta, is that Delta Delta? Yeah, India Delta Delta is identified. And as we do that, Aaron Flood, mate, that is awesome. Thank you so, so much. Gifting 10 years Jet Sim Pilot channel uh, memberships uh, to the community. Aaron, that is very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for your uh, continued support, Aaron. Um, and if you are stuck with self loading cargo, you know, always, always feel free to D, uh, DM me on, on Discord and I'll help as, uh, as much as I can. Uh, how do you enable the camera sounds on the Phoenix? So they're on there always by default, but in order to hear all the camera sounds, you need to, you can't do it on here, but you need to um, press this button so it uh, it's like this, basically. So press it so it's illuminated, and, uh, and then turn it up. Okay, so we're going to start slowing down now. We'll um, push for managed speed. Uh, here's the thing, the company message on the fly-by-wire is most likely... Um, stand 6 is what we're expecting when we land. So stand six, if you just have a look, so we know where that is. It's right on the end of the pier, look there, north side. Hey, Flying Cube, I'm very well, thank you. Tell you what, I need to get on the ground, because I had a cup of tea before we took off, and I'm now really regretting that. Daniel Lord, thank you for subscribing. Christian says he wants to get the Intervals Queensland scenery, but he's stuck on an endless checkout loading. Maybe they're updating things ready for the uh, the Luton release, Christian. That, that might be it. Right, flaps one. Speed's checked. Flaps one. Speed one at zero. Uh, 
Uh, Christian, I think the release for the A300 might be coming soon. I don't know if that's today. It might even be tomorrow. It means we're going to have to fly it. See what it's like. Okay, I'll glide slope lock blue cat three jewel autopilot one and two. One two one nine oh five as ground frequency is online, so we'll just pre tune that. That's exactly what we wanted. 3,000 feet as we capture. And hopefully we'll get a full house, get Glide Soap Lock style, which would be nice. Remember, you have to capture the localizer before you can capture the Glide Slope. You can't do it the other way around. The aircraft doesn't allow you to either. Just keep teasing around. Jersey traffic EZ 9639 is uh, establishing ILS runway 269 mile final. There we go, lock start. And flaps two, speed checked, flaps two. Do you know, I can't remember the last time I did Jersey in the daylight. Glad slope start, missed approach altitude, 3,000 feet set. Two thousand five hundred. And two thousand five hundred. Right. The Christian, I think you're right actually. Didn't get those on. Right, manage speed, gear down. Spoilers armed. Lights. Cabin crew, seats for landing. And flaps full. Mind if we need to go around, climb straight out, 3,000 feet, left turn. Nice wind at the moment, 20 knots on the nose, a little bit from the left. Okay, my turn. Cam secured, got altitude 3,000 feet, it can be landing noble. Z 
see it just drifted slightly to the left, so we'll just get that back on centre. Remember it's Jersey, so we're not going to be expecting a nice butter landing, we just want a f positive landing. Make sure them speed brakes come out, auto brakes lock on, and we don't end up in the channel. Continue. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten, five. Okay, so spoilers reverse. Manual brakes. Ladies and gentlemen, the cabin crew will shortly be leaving their seats to perform safety related duties. However, we ask that you remain seated until the fastened seatbelt sign has been switched off. Portable electronic devices for messaging, calls, or internet access may now be used. Please make sure that you take all your personal belongings with you. Checking in the seat pocket, underneath the seat, and in the overhead lockers. Do take care when opening the lockers in case anything falls out. Smoking is not permitted until you reach a designated smoking area. On behalf of the captain and the crew, it has been our pleasure looking after you today. Our ground crew will help you complete your EasyJet journey. For the latest news, promotions, flight, and destination information, check out our official Facebook page, Twitter, or EasyJet app. Cabin crew, doors to manual, please. Cheers, ground. Good afternoon, easy nine six three nine on Justin, Delta. Please remain seated until the captain turns off the seat. Uh, easy nine six three nine. Uh, Jersey, ground. Welcome to Thank Jersey you. and good afternoon. Taxi stand ten via Bravo and Juliet. Stand ten, Bravo, Juliet. Easy nine six three nine. Uh, so that's round the back then. Fair enough. <laughs> we were on Delta actually, not on Echo. Didn't think we uh, we landed with uh, that much deceleration. Hey, pilot Mike. No idea which parking position we'll be uh, using in GSX. Really don't like the GSX menu. I do find it uh, do find it clunky. Uh, Lemon, do I recommend the Global Texture Pack? Uh, yes, if you're landing at default airports, but obviously, um, if you're landing at custom airports, they've got their own textures included. Stand 10 it is. Bit of a weird taxi line, isn't it? So we're going to turn the aircraft around and get it back to Luton, hopefully for the series release.
Right, so, uh, parked, it's been three minutes just, so, uh, shut those engines down. APU's on, just get a bit of APU bleed on before we uh, go any further. Engine one shut down. Engine two. See if all signs off. They've dropped below 10 already. Beacon off. External power. Get that connected. Pumps off. And we can shut down the APU as well. Right, come on the GSX. Are you going to do your thing? Request deboarding. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so I just need to now prepare the flight plan for our return journey back to Luton. Um, this isn't default scenery, it's the, um, oh god, what's his name, Super Spud Freeware scenery uh, from um, FlightSim.to. So it is based upon default scenery, but um, yeah, with a, with a few things... Uh, with a few things added in. Passengers uh, so just the parking checklist then. So radar and predictive windshield there off. Parking brakes on. Engines off. Exterior lights uh, as required. Fuel pumps off. Yellow pump is off. And uh, yeah. Turn your phone back on. Alright guys, so, stick with us, and uh, I'll just give you a, a nice view, hopefully, while I uh, sort out the flight plan for the return journey. The return journey will be running the giveaway as well, so stick with us for that. Now is a great time for you to just uh, go and grab a cup of tea. That's uh, what I'll be doing. And then we'll head back to, uh, we'll head back to Luton. Also as well, good time to check out the Innerbuilds store with the uh, links at the top of the chat and in the video description. Pick up the uh, scenery you want whilst it is on sale. I think that's going to be ending pretty soon, so this is probably your last chance to get that as, uh, as well. So, I will be back in, uh, I'll be back in, uh, in 10 minutes or so once I've got this sorted. Speak to you all very soon.
Right guys, back with you, ready for the return leg. Oh my god, are people still uh, deboarding? I thought I got GSX set up so, you know, we got a decent stream of passenger folk with dense uh, population. Maybe I need to go in and have a look at that because no EasyJet flight I have ever been on has seen people get off s as slowly as, uh, <laughs> as slowly as that, so it's definitely, definitely needs a, yeah. Uh, needs a tweak. Whoops! Oh, I've just dropped my iPad on the keyboard so uh, <laughs> the picture's just jumped. Sorry about that. Uh, right, I do need the latest sim brief um, operational flight plan. So, just grab that. Hey Lulu! Afternoon to you. Okay, God, I think we're quite heavy actually. Let's have a look at the return uh, return journey. Uh, oh my God, we're full. That's interesting. So if we need to get back in here quickly, that's going to be very interesting. I have to do a uh, calculation to see if that is indeed the case. Of course, this is the sort of place where if we have an emergency and we need to get back in super quick, you know, like we're on fire or something, then, um, well, just getting down on the ground is the main thing. Uh, there aren't really many other options around here. Uh, so, yeah, we're uh, we're nice and heavy. Landing weight looking to be uh, 63 and a half tons. That's fine, we'll get to Luton. No problems. Off 2.6, back in 2.5. Nice tailwind for the flight today. Gatwick is our alternate. Uh, just over 5.5 ton plug fuel. CNR for Gatwick 3.2. Don't need to worry about terrain, there's none of that. Um, crosswind in Luton, that's fine, but it's all Cat 1 stuff. The weather, I'm not too concerned about the weather or the no times because we've already seen them. See, that's a great thing about doing a rotation flight as well, is you've got. Um, you're pretty knowledgeable about all the conditions anyway because you've literally just flown through them. Uh, so are we going to take any extra fuel? Probably not to be honest with you. Um, we could take an extra ton if we needed but I don't think that's going to be uh, going to be the case. So let's have a quick look at um, the departure. So Jersey Airport of course where we've just landed. Uh, come on, there we are. So, straight out, max speed 210, right turn, MSA 1,900, no turns below 900 feet, that's fine. Not above 5,000 till ATC have told us. Transition altitude also 5,000 when instructor comes out just control. Uh, so 5,000 is the initial climb, that's fine. So yeah, that's uh, that looks all pretty straightforward stuff again. Uh, Quick look at the arrival because it's going to be a busy airspace getting back into Luton. It's going to be really busy getting back in Luton. Um, uh, flight on 190 at Tel 2, uh, 15, and then we have this kind of convoluted little arrival pattern. Now, the reason they do that is because of London Stansted departures. So it's, we have to stay high because of that. We can't just um, get down nice and low because we conflict with Stansted departing traffic. Um, so, yeah, and then we will be coming in on the ILS 4. Two six, no, two five. Our navigational approach, conventional approach via Abbott. Ooh, which one are we going to be on? Uh, I think it's possibly going to be this one. What's the conventional approach look like? Oh, yeah, we're not doing that. <coughs> And then Luton, again we don't arrive here very often, so uh, Cat 1, weather's fine, 3 degree and it's 3,000 feet platform altitude. So I'm just getting this in my mind now to build up my situational awareness because I know we're not going to spend a lot of time in the air getting back and there's going to be a lot of ATC going off when we get there, so um, yeah, that's uh, that's the fun stuff. Okay, so happy with uh, happy with most of that. Let's get in the uh, get in the aircraft and start uh, start setting her all up.
So back over here and we shall re-import new data from Simbrief. No import possible due to boarding or refuel in progress. So put a stop to that. Import sim reef data. Oh, come on. Perhaps if we disable GSX payload sync, we'll do that. There. Hopefully that will work. Yay, there we go. That's fine then. So that's now all done. Uh, let's just get the latest ATIS information from Jersey, 121905. Oh, that's the wrong frequency. <laughs> that's the ground frequency. Uh, try again. One, three, four, six, eight. Runway in use two six. Transition level flight level seven zero. Surface winds two two zero degrees nine knots. Varying between one nine zero and two five zero degrees, visibility ten kilometers or more showers in the vicinity. Few at cumulo nimbus one thousand two hundred feet, temperature plus one zero, dew point plus eight, QNH nine nine zero hectopascal QFE nine eight one hectopascal. Acknowledge receipt of information uniform and advise aircraft type on first contact. Okay, so that's uh, yeah, that's all well and good. So we don't need to. I don't need to look at the uh, aircraft state. I've left it in this state, so it should all be fine. Um, nine nine zero the Q and H. Yeah, that's fine. So let's uh, let's crack on. Uh, IRS position three no greens. Uh, yada 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 yada. GPS. Making sure they're all okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's do the new in it. And I want to start getting people uh, getting people boarded. So we want fuel. We're going to take plug fuel. Do that in real time. And payload. Just download that. Yep, a nice full flight. Again, we'll do that in uh, in real time. Please confirm deboarding all passengers. Yeah, deboard. And begin boarding. Hopefully that'll work. And just for a bit of visuals now, and it's visual only. Uh, prepare for uh, request boarding. Lovely. Uh, yeah, refueling's underway. Just see if our signs are off, aren't they? Yes, good. Okay, where's my operational flight plan gone then? Uh, so, plug fuel is 4.6 tonnes. We're refueling. Custom X4. I'm happy to leave the trap over, that's fine. Download the latest winds. Iris in it. No drifts there. They're all okay. Flight level 270 on the way back. That's a bit higher, isn't it? So we're going to be departing off to 6. Orist 1 Charlie departure. And then come in at ILS 25. Tell to arrival. And uh, it was Zagit, I think. Double check that. Uh, 
that's Zag Zoo. I'm not coming in by Abbott, I don't believe. make sense to me. Hang on. None of those are Zagat or Abbott. No, okay, no fear. See what that looks like on the uh, flight plan. 283 miles, and I've got what? Uh, 281 miles, so they're not a million miles off. Passengers' bus is coming. Oh yeah, that's it. So uh, Zigzo. Uh, and we can't prove, we can't go uh, further than that. That's the uh, ATC clearance point. So yeah, that's uh, that's fine. Uh, right now we've got Jersey in. That's all fine. Okay, in it uh, B then. So this information off uh, off here. Uh, begin deboarding. Oh, begin boarding. Oh, that's what I needed to press clearly. Uh, so. Planned is forty two and a half. That doesn't seem right. That's definitely not right. Planned is not forty two and a half. Zero fuel weight is meant to be sixty one. Zero fuel weight C of G is 30 something not quite right on the loading page there of the uh, the EFP we've got a tailwind now so we have the headwind bringing us down here 2.9 tons and we're taking 4.6 Take off eight six five and a half turn or six five point four that's fine. Fuel alternate is one point two which is an extra twenty two minutes. So uh, Jamie did we press the get from OFP? Yeah I believe we did. But We'll not go with plan. We'll go with what um, what the actual. Uh, we'll, we'll use current figures, um, and it'll it'll be fine. Right. Let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at the takeoff performance calculations. And so takeoff weight of sixty five point four. That, that's heavy for this short runway. See how SimSmart likes that. Uh, we'll use wet figures because there are showers in the vicinity. Uh, 10 degrees, so it will be on. Takeoff weight 65.4. Uh, standard flex config 1. It might not like this. Packs off. Yeah, I didn't think so. Flex unavailable. Different configuration of Toga. Okay. Conf 2. Nope. Uh, comp three. Just, do I want to take off flaps three? That'd be different, wouldn't it? <laughs> Look at those speeds. Okay, well that is flaps three will work for us, and uh, flaps three and flex. Or we could just do a toga takeoff. What do we? What do we think? We don't do toga very often. Let's go toga. 
Uh, so, 16, 20, 25. Max takeoff weight is 17 and a half tons. So, yeah, we'll do all that. That's fine. Um, Christian 46 or Toga, not much difference. No, you're right, there's not. So, we'll Toga it. One four. No, sorry. One one six. One two zero. One two five. Uh, one zero seven four. One zero seven four. At the end of the day. It's not real fuel. No flex. Flaps 3. Flaps 3 Toga. When was the last time we did that? Yeah, now this is something that um, the fly-by-wire brings, uh, brings this message up sometimes. Takeoff speed is too low. I can guarantee you they're not. They're, uh, they're absolutely fine. So, clear that out. Uh, and engine out procedure is standard because we're straight over the channel. 1800 feet direct to Shark. We were putting a second flight plan, but we can't, so... Christian says probably Gibraltar. Yeah, I was thinking that myself. That's a, a Gibraltar takeoff configuration, isn't it? Right, and the box is set up. Nav partially displayed. Uh, map partially displayed. That's uh, that's interesting. I have seen this book before, where suddenly a line disappears. Um, not quite sure what that's all about. It will come back, or if not, <laughs> we'll we'll add that as a threat on our uh, our debrief. Okay, so let's contact ground. Jersey ground, good afternoon again. Easy 6940 stand 10 requesting IFR clearance as file Luton information uniform. Easy 9640, good afternoon again. You're clear to London Luton on the Oris 1 Charlie departure. Squawk 1247, current information is now Victor, QNH 9090, Hector Pascals. Cleared by the Oris 1 Charlie departure, Squawk 1247, and we'll copy of the mission. Victor 9090, Hector Pascals for the QNH EZ 9640. EZ 9640, read back correct and call when ready. Uh, so what's that, Squawk 1247? Okay, so whilst we're waiting for everyone to get on board then, quick uh, quick brief and overview of what we're going to be doing. Uh, oh, come on, oh honestly, I really wish, I preferred the old um, Navigraph app, I wish I hadn't have updated because this is just so slow now to respond. Okay, so we're pushing back facing uh, west, taxi around Alpha, full length departure uh, via Alpha 1. Uh, straight out, there is a constraint with the speed, isn't there? 210 knots. Let's just check our characteristic speeds. Um, it's 217, so we'll pre-select 194 then. We'll fly at S speed. Until we've uh, passed Julie Julie Whiskey 02. And then we'll uh, select manage speed, accelerate away, and off we go. Uh, initial climb 5,000. Threats and error management. Um, chance of a little bit of a shower on departure. We have configured for wet runway conditions. Short runway, of course. So maybe just think about that. Um, if anything happens with the uh, aircraft below 100 knots, then definitely consider stopping. Hotel, no further ATC, I'm afraid. Monitor Unicorn 1. 
The last thing we want is to be dilly-dallying about on a very, very short runway, particularly when we're very heavy as well. So, you know, we're, we're, actually, we're maxing out our aircraft performance-wise, toga flaps three. So that's as, uh, you know, that's as, as good as it comes, really. Uh, so yeah, I uh, I think we're, we're pretty much uh, good to go. MSA 1,900 feet. Engine out procedure is standard, so we'll just pull head in bug, and then once we are above, um, once we're above 1,800 feet, then uh, that's when we can push the level off, accelerate away, and turn to the holding point. Shark. Okay, let's get that AP open running. Get back to Luton. Shouldn't be long before it releases, hopefully. Christian says, might as well use dry figures. So the, the showers have now stopped then, have they? Oh, well, never mind. That's okay. We'll stick with what we got. They're conservative, aren't they? So we're just waiting for everyone from board and the APU to get on. Uh, Flap land just confirmed. I just want Charlie off to six. That's fine. Radnav's tuned Jersey. 270 is going to be fine for us. 16, 20, 25. Transition altitude is uh, 5,000 feet. Noise abatement two. Toga takeoff flaps three. Takeoff weight is 65.5. Point four tons, which does put us over our uh, well, it's pretty much at our max landing weight to be fair. So, if we needed to get back in, we would be able to do it just um, in an emergency. In an emergency, that is because this runway is probably too short for that to be fair. But if you're on fire, then what's the alternate? The channel, which isn't great. Uh, oh, why isn't everyone on board? Right, you know what? It's not liking this at all, is it? Right. I'm gonna... Package loading in progress. I'm going to reset GSX. I'm going to... Go back here. Fuel, what we got on? 4.6? Is that in the tanks? Yeah, so fuel's been boarded. Payload. Download that. Planned, current, instant. Bosh, done. There we go. APU's up and running. APU bleed is on. Get these off. I could probably get these on. See what signs on. Everyone's on board. Although <laughs> at least they'll put the fire out. This is true. Might not remain in one piece though. I'm not as good as uh, not as good as Sully. Little threat as well. Just something going on with the map there. I expect that to right itself once we're uh, once we're out. Hello. Hi, Captain. Everyone's on board. I'm going to go the man. Thank you for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I'll let the crew know and we'll get closed up as soon as we can. Right, come on, GSX. Can you at least handle the push? Hi, Captain. Okay, here's the load sheet from ground. I've written the passenger count here, the crew count here, and the total number of souls, not including yourself. Hello, here. Captain. We are ready for pushback. Wonderful. No problem at all. Right, let's get back to London Luton. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. So, aircraft acceptance, obviously that's fine. Fuel quantity is 4.6 tonnes. Balanced seatbelt signs are on. It is three nine green Q and H nine nine zero set cross checked and two eight zero feet. Just ground easy nine six four zero stand ten ready for push. 
EZ 9640, stand 10, push to start approved. Push to start approved, EZ 9640. And the before start checks, so parking brake is on, takeoff data has been confirmed, windows are closed, EFB is on flight mode, doors closed and armed, and beacon light is on. Release parking brakes, please. And parking brakes released. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Easy, easy one, turn to the today, first push and cross Nuzzle string is disconnected. Easy one seven, Papa Victor. Stand four, push start, face east. Push start, both facing east. Easy one seven, Papa Victor. Should have probably said as well, although I'm sure it's pretty obvious we're not single engine taxiing our way around uh, Jersey. Uh, Han Solo, you've been away from simming for a month, so what are the new features added to the fly by wire? I'll be honest, in the last month, I don't think that much has been added. To be fair, I probably don't fly enough to notice. Please set parking brakes. Parking brakes set. Unlocking gear. Lukey, what instance would you do a single engine taxi? Well, you've got a nice long taxi with lots of traffic ahead of you, so you know you'll be sat on the ground Ladies for quite and gentlemen, a while. We now ask for your attention while we take you through the safety procedures on this aircraft. A safety card is in your seat pocket, showing the exit routes, oxygen masks, life jackets, and brace position that you must adopt if you hear brace, brace. There are two emergency exits at the rear, four in the middle, and two at the front of the cabin. Floor lighting will guide you to an exit. Please be aware that your nearest exit may be behind you. In an emergency, leave all cabin baggage on board. Your seatbelt is fastened, Starting engine two. adjusted, and released as shown. Tow truck disconnected. It must Bypass be fastened when the seatbelt signs are on, and we recommend that you keep it fastened at all times. Right is clear. If the air supply fails, masks will drop from above you. Pull a mask towards you to start the oxygen. Put the mask over your nose and mouth. Hold in place with the strap. Pull on each side to adjust. Put on your own mask before helping others. If we land on water, take the life jacket from under your seat. Put it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist. Click together and pull the strap to adjust. Show us the pin, give Do us not wave, inflate it inside off. the aircraft. When outside, inflate by pulling the toggle. If it fails to inflate or needs topping up, blow into the tube. There is a light and whistle for attracting attention. We also carry flotation aids for children. Your tray table must now be stowed, armrest down, window blinds open, and seatbelt fastened. We wish you a pleasant flight with EasyJet. And engine tubes available. Spoilers, zero the rudder, very important now because it's a return leg, so it actually does need all to All stations, resetting. all stations, Jersey information now, whiskey, QNH 990, Hector Pascal. So QNH has not changed. After start checklist, anti ice is on engines, ecom status is checked, pitch trim is 32.8, and rudder is neutral. Flight control check while we're here then. In full left, full right, neutral, full up, full down, neutral, rudder, full right, full left, and neutral. Ground easy 9640, ready for taxi. Easy 9640, taxi, Hallpoint Juliet 1 on Juliet. 
Holding point, Juliet 1 on uh, Juliet Freezy 9640. Where's that? I wasn't expecting Easy that. one, Sandal, so the video oh, Easy 17 Papa Victor, taxi hold point Alpha 1, runway 26 on Alpha. Taxi to hold point runway 26 Alpha 1 on Alpha, Easy 17 Papa Victor. And Easy 9640, continue to taxi hold point Alpha 1, runway 26 by Juliet and Alpha. Juliet Alpha, hold Alpha 1, Easy 9640. Hello. Hi, Captain. Just to let you know that the cabin is secure for takeoff. Awesome. Uh, if you want to get yourself seated, it shouldn't be too long. No problem. All stations, seats for takeoff, please. Okay, just got a master caution. Light takeoff speed is too low. We've seen that, so I'm going to cancel master caution and ECAM. I'm going to clear it and uh, disregard. Um, the trim value, Luki, isn't shown on your operational flight plan, no, that's, um, you set the centre of gravity, uh, percent which is given to you down on the, um, down on your uh, performance on your payload screen. Okay, no change to our performance, engine out procedure is standard, straight out. Uh, 1,800 feet, push accelerate away, clean up on schedule and turn to the shark holding point. Hold safe 3,000 feet, which is above MSA. Uh, departure is straight out noise abatement 2 with a uh, right turn speed restriction 210. That's going to be flaps 1 for the first two waypoints and our stop climb is 5,000. Note, new little threat is the lack of a navigation green line on the navigation display. I expect that to sort itself out once we are, uh, once we're airborne. Bomb Tech says Luton is now available. Excellent, guys. If you want to go and grab it, then please do use the link in the video description or at the top of the chat. And uh, in doing so, grabbing that as well supports the channel at the same time as well getting yourself some awesome uh, new scenery for all those EasyJet ops, Ryanair ops, Wizair ops. Fantastic. And apparently it's £14, which is a perfectly reasonable price for uh, scenery of that magnitude. Particularly when you think it's yours for life. And of course it will be compatible with the upcoming flights in 2024 as well. Uh, British, am I going to be doing Cross the Pond next month? No, Cross the Pond is always on a Saturday and I never get, uh, I never stream usually on a Saturday, particularly a full day of it and it's uh, usually busy with family life. Okay, uh, taxi checklist of flight controls, they've been checked, flap setting is config 3, FMA, climb nav blue, 1 FD2, 5000 blue, red arm pleated wind shears are on, ECAM memo, got takeoff nav blue, and uh, EFB stowed. Midnight, how does Luton compare with the other one we have already? Um, I have had the other one that you speak of, and the inner build is just far better. Far, far better. Easy 9640, no further ATC I'm afraid, monitor Unicom 122 decimal 8, you have a great flight to Luton and have a great Easter, goodbye. Over to Unicom, thanks so much for uh, for being here for the service, uh, Easy 9640, happy Easter. Goodbye.
information echo also just uh, letting us know that Luton is officially out so yeah go ahead and uh, grab that from Innerbuilds link in the uh, video description and uh, pinned at the top of the chat right 1228 as we head over to uh, to Unicom Approach path looks clear. Jersey traffic easy 9640 lining up uh, the Alpha 1 runway 26. Uh, basement from hell in the um, in the channel description. Uh, there should be a referral link in there for you. Lineup checklist then. Cabin secured. Takeoff runway full length two six. T cast RA Pax one and two. So we're nice and heavy. Toga takeoff. Okay, <laughs> take off. Start the chrono. Let's go. Just listen to those engines. Stable. Set takeoff thrust. Mantoga SRS runway. Disregard master caution. Did that flash up say in thrust reduction? I was waiting for it and realised we're well above uh, 1000 feet AGL so I went without the command. Speed I'll start, no ATC around so just go flight level 200. So thrust climb over climb 200 blue. Just check with clears this and we get to Jersey 02 in a moment. If not, we're going to be heading 110. Correction, 010. It is not. Okay, we've got a slight issue with the flight, uh, with the navigation. Heading 010. And then let's do a direct, uh, direct alternate. See if that helps. There's the 
Temporary line. Insert. Now straight on. Okay, there we go. So we've done that as well. Let's push to accelerate away and then we'll clean the aircraft up. Flap zero. Spoilers us up. I would say cabin crew release, but there seems little point because we're going to be at 10,000 feet. I'll take the seatbelt signs off in a minute. Cabin crew release. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your seatbelt fastened while the seatbelt sign is on. We recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are seated. Toilets are located at each end of the cabin. Remember that smoking is not permitted at any time. This includes e-cigarettes. Seems to be behaving itself in now. just a few moments, we'll commence our in-flight service, offering you the chance to purchase from our selection of fresh food available today. Full details can be found in your in-flight brochure. You can also purchase a selection of hot beverages together with drinks and snacks from the bar. We accept payment in pounds, euros, most major currencies and debit or credit cards. The correct change would be greatly appreciated. And if we could be of any further assistance, then just ask us as we join you in the cabin shortly. Okay, so let's just clear out our Radnav page. 270 is fine. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. You are now free to move around the cabin. However, for your safety, we do recommend that you remain seated with your belt fastened at all times during the flight. Thank you. And cost index zero. Okay, back to Luton as it's just been released. I get to see it in about half an hour or so. Uh, Pilot Power One, uh, the announcements are from self loading cars. Lee JC, good afternoon. Yes, I thought we'd, we'd take the Neo out. Uh, someone was asking about um, the performance calculator. That is this. This is SimSmart. Um, the web version of this is well underway in development. It's going through testing at the moment. Link in the video description if you want to check that out. Jamie's just logged on as ground controller for Luton. Oh, Jamie, <laughs> you're going to get... Oh, you're going to get hounded by traffic. Everyone's going to be spawning in. There won't be a parking spot for us. Keep one keep one uh, spare for us, Jamie, won't you? Oh, that's gorgeous. Don't forget the welcome to Luton Doncaster Airport. <laughs> Every airport Doncaster. Uh, Oleg, do I know how to make AI traffic look better? I use two different models. I use FS LTL and I use FS traffic models. So both of those I think look pretty good. Looking forward to this approach into uh, into Luton. It is it is going to be busy. It's going to be very busy. <laughs> Jordan dropped heavy messages on you nearly at London. <laughs> oh, who was in the chat? That, uh, who was in the chat in that stream when we had the nearly at London moment? Jersey traffic, speedbird 641, descending altitude 5,000 feet for a Sperry 1 Juliet horizon.
something's definitely got wrong with the gone wrong with the times on there. Not had this many bugs on the fly by my aircraft for a long time. I should say as well, if you're in the market for some aviation merch, then um, do check out the uh, the aviation merch store that we have. Those canvases look awesome. Phone cases, clocks, etc. Mats as well. Over at Aviation Isle. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments we will be starting our in-flight movie. If you require headphones, please contact a flight attendant and we'll be happy to help. For those of you who hold your own, you can plug them into the armrest. James says only one arrival on the ground at the moment. That's not going to last long. No, Jamie, that is definitely not going to last long. Christian says it's going to be very busy. We're not taking a single drop of extra fuel with us. We couldn't. We, we could take maybe an extra ton, but because of how heavy we were, um, we're fully loaded today. And it's okay. It's my cunning plan when Luton is so busy to declare a Mayday fuel emergency and get straight to the front of the queue. <laughs> it's all part of the plan, Christian. <laughs> Imagine getting stuck in a hold, running out of fuel, and having to divert to somewhere else so we don't actually see Luton. I'd be devastated. That won't happen. It won't happen, I promise. Whilst I've been doing this, I believe my wife and the kids have been making waffles in the new waffle maker. I dread to think the mess that is awaiting me. That was my deal. I'll come and uh, I'll come and showcase Luton for you guys. She'll keep the kids busy whilst making waffles, but the deal is I have to clean up the mess. It's going to take me longer to clean up the mess than it is to do this flight. Uh, Hussein will be giving the giveaway shortly, of course, yes, if you haven't already remembered. We will be giving away a copy of uh, Luton Airport. So, um, as a thanks as well to Innerbuilds for providing that copy for us to enjoy. Well, Christian, we'll, we'll divert to Stansted and then we'll just drive to Luton. We are about to start one of our in-flight movies. If you'd like to watch... Uh, Craig, hello from Spain. Hey, Craig. You're on holiday, mate. Thank you. Uh, you thinking about flying it from Jersey. Fly-by-wire or A3? I haven't seen the any A320, so I can't comment on it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Leverwolf says he'd clean the whole house if the cabin crew promised to let him finish the flight without interruptions. <laughs> yeah, they're not far away from each other, Christian. Right at Speed Alt Star, we've got the Isle of Wight in view. I think the first ATC we're going to need is Essex Approach 12062. Or is Essex approach for Stansted? I can't remember. Dan, I didn't realise you lived in the Isle of Wight. Right, we're at 27,000, so that's Alt, uh, alt Cruise. Uh, TCAS to below. Make sure nothing's busted. Feels fine. Ooh, those wheel temperatures are nice and realistic. Ladies and gentlemen, and the overhead's good as well. Just to let you know, we will be starting our in-flight drink service in a few moments. Oh, like says you've got UK 2000. I had the UK 2000. The intervals is far superior. Thank you.
<coughs> so, costing next four, we are going to start preparing our uh, box immediately. Pack of golf, golf, whiskey, runway two, five. Uh, radial is zero seven four, and this is just because I can't um, I can't clean the flight plan up and extend the runway center line the normal way, so we have to do it using the fixes page. Darius, cabin crew voices are from an app called Self Loading Cargo. Company message, what's that? Is that the uh, planned S uh, stand one Romeo? <laughs> one Romeo? I don't even know where that is. I would say I'm not au fait with Luton. The thing is, this is the kind of, with this kind of thing happening, with Luton just getting released now in the last half an hour. Um, doesn't matter what stand I get assigned. Someone's going to spawn in on it. So where's one Romeo? Oh, it's the first stand next to the hangar. I will take that. I hope that's mine. It's the, also the shortest taxi. <laughs> Jamie, that's your job, mate. <laughs> go and go and lay down in that stand for me. All right, so flat plan sorted, Radnav page. Um, we've got the L U T N D B Echo Golf Golf Whiskey Two Five. Grab some weather. Uh, oh, not light rain. Two three zero eighteen. Ladies and gentlemen, that's we are about to strong. serve our drinks menu. Choose Feel that? Menu, hot tea and coffee, or another Q and H nine eight eight. Please make sure your tray table is in the down position and clear any items from the aisles. Thank you. Temperature is 10. Minimums from the charts then. 708. This is interesting as well. So, um, Due to sloping terrain in the approach area, the rate of the radio altimeter height reduction prior to the threshold will approximately be double the normal rate. So if we start to see that dropping really quick, we now know why. Can we do a flaps 3 landing here? What's our landing weight going to be? It's going to be 61, 62, 63, 63 and a half tons. Oh, Christian, you've got a different meta. Which is which is most up to date? This one was just over half an hour ago, actually. the runway slope of Luton. Not 0.1 up. Landing distance available is... Again, just waiting for Navigraph to catch up. Two zero 
approach speed. Oh, Christian, do you want to give us the latest one? Oh, thanks, yep. That's fine. We'll grab that in a minute then. 988, eight, that's the same. Wind 2, 10, 8, 11. More of a crosswind now. Temperature 11. Has he got warmer? Fair enough. Uh, that is going to be 145. I say our landing was 63 and a half tons. Flaps three. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, runway heading. What's the runway heading? 254. Elevation 508. Uh, so auto brake medium. Fine. Wow, what a tailwind. Jamie says, current wind is 23018. Oh, okay. Oh, well, now I've got conflicting information. I've got Jamie who's working on the ground there saying 23018, but that was a meta from half an hour ago. Latest meta as of nine minutes ago, is win 2, 10 at 11. Uh, who do I believe? <laughs> Jamie, I'm going to have to go with the latest meta. Right, we need to get down anyway, so... As Microsoft Flight Simulator bases stuff off the... Uh, bases the stuff off the meta. Right, 190 blue, and we're going down over descent. And 017 Yankee, landing up on grade, we just right. In fact, what I'm going to do is we're going to set 150 and pop that into uh, managed descent. In fact, no, I'm not because we're too high. We're going to go open descent, we're going to pull speed, and run that speed up to catch up. I reckon by the time I get there, Jamie, your meta will have changed. Your ATS will have changed. <laughs> At least that is what I am predicting. Hey, Amagos. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Christian says, very conservative landing character. It, it is. Yeah, I have tested it against the real one. It's, it's very conservative. But it's because it's based on the QRH data, which is also very conservative. Compared to uh, the landing performance calculator, the real one. Peter traffic is in the two line up runway two seven uh, right immediate departure. Peter. Landing two seven left, two five traffic, speed bad four nine one. Right, I've turned tuned to Essex radar so we're ready to give them a shout when they need. I'm just enjoying a quick drink of tea. On as well as we drop through those clouds in a moment. Does anybody else run in Windows 10 or Windows 11? I think I'm on Windows 10. In the bottom right hand corner of my uh, desktop, it gives me random pieces of information. I don't know where it's getting it from, but tomorrow it's just flashed up and saying pollen tomorrow. So anyone with hay fever, look out. 
Uh, Aaron, what do I think of Luton? Um, we've seen it when we taxied around it at takeoff. It looked awesome, and we're about to land there. So I'm sure it'll look awesome again. Ryan and Anna, seven Mike Romeo, service silence, clear to runway 22. Ryan and Anna, seven Mike Romeo, runway 22, service in 200 degrees, on sign and off, clear to land. Runway 22, clear to land, Ryan and Anna, seven Mike Romeo. I love that view. Which stadium is that down there then? Uh, Thomas says you can disable the random task. I, I, know, I know there would be a way to disable it, not that I know how, but I kind of like random pieces of information just popping up. The other one was rain stopping. <laughs> uh, Amagos says real hopes you can get mini FCU or something like that soon. Um, it, it is a godsend. Last night when we were coming into JFK and ATC are just firing things at you. Um, it's easy, you know, you can, as they tell you what to do, you can set it and then you can read back the numbers so you know what's there. It's hard as a single pilot. It is much easier with someone sat next to you doing the, uh, doing the comms. Lulu says he lives, <laughs> she lives in Scotland. We're uh, not due our mandated eight days of sunshine yet for a couple of months. <laughs> Right, at speed, alt, star, and we're going to continue our descent for the late zero. So I have set uh, 8,000 on the FCU, but we're constrained to uh, 5,150 for the time being. And we're going to start reducing speed as well, so let's just manage that speed. Call as we're over uh, Osset now. SX radar, good afternoon, easy 9640. Overhead Osset, flat 150. Easy 9640. Standard radar vectors for the ILS approach, runway 25 Luton. Information is Golf, report aircraft type. Information Golf copied and A320B. Easy 9640. Easy 9640. Sam level 110. Sam level 110. Easy 9640. to open descent now. If they're going to vector us in, they might get us in a little quicker than having to fly north of the uh, runway track. I think we might be able to see. Can we see Luton down there? Oh, I think there's clouds in the way. That's Stansted, though, in front of us. There it is. And yeah, Luton is down here somewhere. Big orange hangar. Uh, Amigos says uh, it gives you a little bit more awareness of the workload involved given that you work on the other side of the radar. Oh, I didn't know that. We, uh, you ATCing away. Reading instructions at twice the speed of sound. Love the view of Stansted. 
But everyone who doesn't have situational awareness and know, like from a passenger perspective, think, oh, there's our airport. And they'd be really confused in a minute when we turn left. Quite looking forward to this approach, actually. Depending on how far out they take us, I was working uh, in Stevenage the other week, bang underneath this approach. I saw all the aircraft coming in right over the top of us. I wonder if we could spot where I worked. The train line through Stevenage. I was very close to the uh, Stevenage railway station. Not working on the railway though. Right, that's one thing. Nine six four zero descent. Flight level eight zero. Descent flight level eight zero is nine six four zero. Touch level descent eight zero. Four nine nine nine. Uh, Southern Mike Romeo is in two two begin. Right now, Southern Mike Romeo, contact status at ground one two one decimal seven three zero. Bye. One two one decimal seven three zero. Right now, nine six seven Mike Romeo. Yeah. Lights on. See what signs on. Hey, Kalaz. If you are travelling with an infant, please ensure that they are secured safely using the infant seatbelt provided. The toilets will now go out of use until the fastened seatbelt sign is turned on. Please contact a member of the cabin crew if you require assistance. Thank you. TV 90640, turn left, heading 270 degrees. Left heading 270, easy, 9640. Heading now. Nine six four zero three zero truck miles to set to altitude five thousand feet to an H nine eight eight hectopascals. Set an altitude five thousand to an H nine eight eight hectopascals. Easy nine six four zero. That profile's fine then for us then at the moment. Let's activate that approach phase. So tidy up that flight plan. Did you leave me Julia identified? Anti Isonas so will just drop through this cloud there. Hi Nick, good to see you. Zero to left heading two two zero degrees. Left heading two two zero is in nine six four zero. Hopefully, I'm going to get into Luton before the chaos begins. Ah, oh, look at that! Nicely, just hanging above that glide slope. Keep that rate of descent though, that's uh, that's working for us. Get that uh, about one and a half dots above, and then we'll maybe go VS. Jamie says the ATIS is now caught up. <laughs> Excellent. I guess my ATIS is now current. Uh, Nick, I'm not using that, no, no. Okay, we're about to see London Luton, the new release from Innibuild, available now to go and uh, go and purchase. Link at the top of the chat or down in the video description. And um, we're also going to be giving away a copy of uh, this new release as well very shortly. So stick with us. We'll have a look around what's we've landed. Did we brief the go around on this? Climb 3000 straight ahead to 2.3 miles ILSDME or 1500, whichever is later, and then left turn track 88, continue 3000. Okay, so missed approach altitude 3000 feet. Easy 
Boeing uh, 640 descent altitude 3,000 feet on your heading, cleared islet approach from way 25. Descent altitude 3,000 feet on the heading, cleared islet from way approach way 25, easy 9640. Okay, flaps one, speed checked. Flaps one. Okay, it's on the approach. Speed one is zero. Alt glide slope, log blue, cat three, two, autopilot one and two. This is really calm. I expected Luton to be chaos. Platform altitude is 3,000 feet as well, just checking. Just need to get down perhaps a little bit quicker, looking at where that's going to reach 3,000 feet to intercept. So what we can do is maintain speed 180, but get flaps 2 out for the extra drag. So flaps 2, speed's checked. There it is. Jamie says it's starting to pick up now, five departures. And they're all going to have to wait for me to arrive. Wonderful. <laughs> there we go. Look, that flaps, uh, flaps 2 has done the job. Two thousand five hundred. Alt waiting now to intercept that localizer. There we go, that's lock start. Glide so we should start to shift in a moment. We've got the sun in our eyes as well, haven't we, as we uh, approach this time of night. Do, we have the, do the visors work in the flyby wire? No. Runway's in sight. The glide. Cam crew, seats for landing. Ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be landing. Please ensure your cabin back is safely stowed with your laptop inside. Your tray table must be stowed, armrest down, and window blind open. You now need to be seated with your seatbelt fastened, ready for landing. Please help us by handing in any rubbish, newspapers, or magazines that you do not want to take with you. The toilets are no longer in service. So, seven and a half months ago. Flight slow captured. Get these uh, on now. Gear will be coming down very shortly. This approach altitude 3,000 feet is set. Easy 9640, runway 25, surface so wind 21 degrees, one more north, clear to land. Clear to land 25, easy 9640. Look at that wind. Gear down. Spurs on. Manage speed and flaps 3. Speed's checked.
go around is straight out 2.3 miles. And then left turn heading 088. It's going to be a bit of right rudder and left aileron, I think. To be fair, the autopilot can do a far better job than I can at tracking that, uh, that centre line in the winds. Could just be lazy and leave it in. Will not. One thousand. There we go. So we'll bounce off. I have control. Look out for the bright orange hanger on the right. starting to drop off a bit now so we just need to continue to tease our aircraft around to the right because we've just drifted off centre. Let's get it back on. Four hundred. Get back on the uh, on those puppies. Four hundred. Four hundred. Hundred above. Minimum. Continue. Tough time holding that center. 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. 10, 5. Okay, supposed to play to the screen, desal. Off, manual brakes. Trick 7 type CH47 requesting permission to land into London City Airport. Right, let's check out Luton as we taxi back in then. Already the quality of this just looks next level compared to what we've had previously. Hello, Stansted uh, Radar. This is Jira Wing 7 Papa Yankee. We're diverting uh, to Stansted, just descending now past 8,500 feet. We have the ILS approach on way too long. None of the approach for the ILS uh, to uh, program then. I would like to get some vectors in, uh, please. You'll have two four track miles, descent to altitude 6,000 feet, QNH 989 hectopascals. QNH 989 and descent to 6,000 feet for your own seven. Oh, clear the runway, let's just hold it there for a second. Turn left, heading 270 degrees. Turn left, feeling. To ground easy, 9640 on hotel. Easy, 9640. Unfortunately, your stand has been taken. <laughs> Taxi stand one instead via Bravo. <laughs> stand one via Bravo, easy, 9640. Thank you. Right, stick around for the replay, stick around for the giveaway. To enter the giveaway, you will need to be a subscriber to the channel. That's the only prerequisite. Oh, 
has it been taken by a loud air, which is actually a Ryanair. The giveaway will only be running on YouTube as well, so if you are watching on Twitch, just jump over to our YouTube channel. Plenty of time. Oh, wow, someone's flying an old monocru from there. Awesome. Welcome to Luton, or London Luton. Awesome, Marshall doing his job there. Right, fantastic. So, I'm just uh, setting up the giveaway. Whilst I do that then, um, shall have a look around? I'm going to leave the engines running just because of the, um, because of the replay we're going to do in, in a moment. But, yeah, if you didn't see the airport right at the start of the stream, well, this is it, and it looks... Easy, 747 uniform, combat standstead radar, 120 decimal 6. Does it have a McDonald's, Christian? Not that I have seen. 10625, Someone's just asked about FPS. This is probably one of the best FPS um, airports I've seen for a while. Uh, it's uh, obviously really busy at the moment. My PC is streaming as well, so that obviously takes a load. Uh, we've got quite a few uh, aircraft on the ground, VATSIM, etc. So it, it seems to be handling it all in its stride, actually. So clearly, it's um, it must be quite well optimized for that to uh, for that to take effect. One thing I didn't have a look at was to see if the uh, control hangar, uh, control tower had been modelled. Oh, I think it has. I know no one ever uses this except maybe VATSIM controllers, but has, uh, has that been modelled? Oh, we can't get in it. Ah, that's a shame, we can't go in it. That's a, a restriction on Microsoft Flight Simulator on some series. But yes, looking very nice. I love the fact that they've even gone to the detail of uh, doing National Express coaches. Uh, have they all got the same number plate? Oh, no number plates there. Well, to be fair, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's probably a, a fair shout. Uh, and then we have the London Dart, uh, the Luton Dart Terminal down there. Is that the, uh, the train line? Uh, oh wow! Look at that! I don't notice that. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, that is brilliant. Yeah, I don't think we've got trains uh, modded in uh, in here. But again, it's something that you wouldn't actually see, isn't it? So I just love that hangar. I think that hangar looks stunning. Um. Someone wanted to see what this looked like at night time as well earlier. Let me just change the uh, scenery settings and have a look what this looks like at night time then. Lit up. So. There you go. This is, um, this is how stuff looks at night. A bit of uh, illumination. Certainly far better than uh, default airports, isn't it? Uh, is the Parkway Station modelled? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I thought that was something I was going to look. Are the, uh, are the hangar doors closed? Because it's night time. Oh, I might not have gone too far. Uh, I don't know what time they closed. Let me just see if I can I get them to close. When I first spawned into the airport this morning, I saw them um, open and close. I don't know what triggered it. Oh, there they go. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> So depending on what time you're going, um, you could park your aircraft in there and leave it there for the night. That is brilliant. Jamie says, uh, one right is available. I'm not moving now, Jamie. <laughs> but yeah, how cool does that look? Right, I'm going to... Um, 
I am going to run the uh, what do you call it? I'm going to run the giveaway uh, with uh, with the replay. So, guys, let me just come off the Vaxim network for that, and then start uh, start the replay. So, for the giveaway, then what um, what you will need to do is make sure, as I say, that you are a uh, subscriber to the channel. That's, uh, that's all that's needed. And then... Sorry, I'm just setting this up here as I, uh, I talk away. Yeah, so in order to be so, uh, in with the chance of winning, then all I need you to do is type into the chat the ICO code for Luton, which is Echo Golf Golf Whiskey. Type that into the chat and we'll, uh, we'll run the giveaway in a moment for a copy of Innerbuild's Luton Airport released about an hour ago now. Once again, guys, just a reminder, if you are watching on Twitch, the giveaway only runs on YouTube because of the way we've got the channel set up. Um, so nip across to YouTube. You've got time. You've got time to get on there and uh, type the uh, type the code in. No rush. And it's also worth pointing out as well that obviously, if you are a winner of this giveaway, you need to um, yeah, you need to have an inner builder account. The approach is actually quite scenic, isn't it? I mean, it's only fields and things, but what makes it look realistic is the fact that, in true British format, the fields are just all complete random shapes. Seeing Stevenage yet? That must, be, that must have been too far back. Yeah, Christian, Aki Season's doing a good job as always. Be interested to see what Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 will look like season-wise, won't it? <laughs> Ancient, each sector will be 100 hours. Yeah, there's clearly a decimal. <laughs> He's missing there, isn't there? <sighs> awesome. Yeah, that approach looks really nice, and you're definitely going to be able to see that. Uh, Going to be able to see that hangar from altitude. Okay, we're going to run the giveaway then uh, as soon as we touch down after this replay. So we're not a million miles away. So last chance to get your uh, Echo Golf Golf whiskey types into the chat. Need to have an Innerbuilds account, and uh, the winner just needs to contact me via uh, email or on Discord. And we'll get that added to your account for you. So, the winner is about to be announced. Congratulations 
two. Tommy, second space. Tommy, second space. Congratulations. You may are uh, the proud winner of um, London Luton uh, Airport, released only one hour ago from uh, Interbuilds. Get in touch. We'll get that added to your account. Of course, everybody else, if you do want to grab this amazing uh, new scenery, do some EasyJet Ops, Wizz Air Ops, Ryanair Ops, all of those, then make sure you uh, use the link at the top of the chat or the video description below. Take you to the Interbuild site, and uh, any scenery you buy using that link also helps support the channel as well. So a massive thank you to everyone who uses those links for uh, for me to get themselves some um, some new scenery. So that is uh, that is it. That is us done now. For um, well, I don't know when. I don't know when our next stream will be. Obviously, we um, we now have the Easter weekend, so any streams upcoming, I will of course let you guys know. Remember on the way out guys, please do hit that like button, it makes a big, big difference to the channel, so I really appreciate everyone that's uh, hit that uh, for me. I'm going to leave you with our uh, arrival into London, see if I can spot the Stevenage train station that I was at recently, uh, right underneath the, uh, the approach path. Until then guys, happy Easter if you celebrate it, and don't eat too much chocolate. Thank you for watching, remember, links in the video description for uh, the Aviation sh uh, Merch Shop, and of course, any builds as well. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you all again very soon. Goodbye.